All right, welcome back everybody to Indian Wells. Hope everybody had a good uh, lunch break, breakfast break, dinner break, whatever. Um, I know I did. And uh, <laughs> now we've got Djokovic, the man who hasn't played here for five years. He is now playing his second match. Uh, first match was a little bit sketchy. He did have to win a three-setter. He was never really in trouble, but uh, yeah, drop the second set was a little bit weird. Uh, he's playing a lucky loser now. Luca Nardi, who uh, is another Italian. It feels like we're just watching Italians every every day. Uh, there's Italians everywhere uh, in tennis at the moment. And Nardi is another one. Uh, he got through, lucky loser, took Echeverry's spot, uh, who had to withdraw. But let's have a look at the preview, because these guys never played, as expected. So you can see there that uh, both got a buy in the first round. Despite Nardi losing, I think he lost to Goffin in the qualies, if I can remember. Uh, and now, I guess to play the best player of all time. He beat Zong in three sets, did Nardi. And of course, uh, Djokovic beat Vukic in three, uh, which was, yeah, like I said, very... It was a weird second set. He kind of just, you know, maybe was just trying to get to a tie break and then just unfortunately got broken. But uh, picked it up pretty quickly in the third and t took it to the... Uh, and took it himself into the third round. Winner of this match, by the way, will take on the winner of Umber Paul, which was Paul, Tommy Paul. So Tommy Paul takes on the winner. Um, and look, Paul's been really good. He just took out Umber, who uh, has been really good lately. So Paul beating the guy in form. Let's see if that helps anyway. <laughs> I don't know. 123 in the world is Nardi. He is 20 in, uh, years old from Italy, 6'1 right-handed. Hadn't played a match all year on the main tour. Uh, he has no titles to his name yet. And you can see there his form has been pretty solid, though. And that would be on the Challenger circuit and, of course, through the uh, through the qualifiers as well. But, yeah, he's been uh, he's been pretty good. Nardi. He's playing the best <clears throat> to ever do it. Novak Djokovic, world number one. 36-year-old from Serbia. 6 foot 2 right-handed. Seven wins. Two losses on the year. No titles this year, but he has got 98 career titles. 100 is on the way. We just got to wait and see when uh, when that's going to happen. And uh, his form has been pretty good, despite not winning a title and losing the Australian Open and losing at the United Cup. He still hasn't lost that many matches. Despite, and he's also not played that much either. Never played before. First time meeting between these two. All right. Uh, Nadi, in fact, made a, a semi, uh, sorry, a final of Chennai in the Challenger events. Lost to Na Nagul in the final. There you go. So he did make a Challenger final. Uh, by the way, Grigor Dimitrov just won. He just took out in Manorino 3-3. Three three. Pretty simple. And Parry is up a set and a break against Blinkova. We've got Garcia Sakri. That's coming on uh, as well. Svetlina Navarro is coming on later. And then, of course, Medvedev and Quarter as well. So we'll see how we go. This match, depending on this match, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out whether or not we watch uh, anything else. But, um, yeah. I don't. I mean, I'm not expecting this match to be any epic or anything. I'm expecting it to be Djokovic in pretty straightforward fashion. But Djokovic doesn't usually bagel people, so I'm expecting it to be maybe a two and a three or something. Something simple, you know, a break here, a break there. How was my breakfast? It was good. I'm back to eating eggs, so that's fun. So it was delicious. Uh, sub one hour? No, I reckon it'll be over an hour. Djokovic doesn't, like I said, Djokovic doesn't win easily, and he doesn't win quick. Uh, you know, you never, uh, you never really see him go love and love in 45 minutes. Like, he's always going to take an hour. Uh, and he's always going to, always going to, uh, you know, do what he has to instead of have to overdo it. He's not going to over, he's not going to play ridiculously good against a guy who's 123 in the world. He's going to just play enough to beat him. You know, doesn't want to push himself too hard. Otherwise, uh, why, why, why bother pushing yourself too hard when you don't have to prove anything, right? But, um, yeah. So, interesting day today. No real big upsets. Um, besides Umber. Umber is probably the upset of the day. A uh, bit of a different... You know, maybe not a, not a shock that Paul did well, but still not, not expected that you know, we thought Umber would be here. Um, Monfils beat Nori. Runa beat Musetti. Paul beat Umber, Rude beat v Feast, um, uh, Fritz beat Baez, and Dimitrov beats Manorino. On the women's side, uh, I mean, Mertens beating Osaka may be an upset for some people. Uh, Goff beat Bron Bronzetti, Sablinka beat Rodokanu, Kazakina beat Stevens, 
And uh, UN keeps winning and beats Dollarhide. So again, nothing really, nothing really to uh, to report. No big upsets yet. Quarter versus Medvedev. I think that's the one with, that's the upset alert, right? That's the one that could possibly be an upset. All right, Nardi coming out on court first. We'll keep an eye on Sakura versus Garcia as well, because that's happening as we speak. Let's go, other guy. There we go. It starts already. Um, the other guy has a lot of supporters. Yeah, of course. I mean, Djokovic, of course, he has a lot of supporters. Yeah, Raducanu lost. She put up a good fight, though. You know? She did put up a good fight against uh, against Sabalenka, which was good to see. Djokovic walking out. First night session here for years. Nole is playing. Eggs Benedict? No, no, no. No, that's uh, too fancy for uh, <laughs> eggs on toast. Poached eggs on toast. All right. A lot of supporters. Not Deb, though. She's Switzerland. Yeah, she's Federer. She goes for Federer, right? Deb, you're a Fed fan, right? All right, players on court. Djokovic in all green. The green on green. Kind of matches the court a little bit. Kind of. Huge catch of Venardi. Um, getting to play his idol. Yeah. I mean, this is the second big, biggest stadium in tennis. So, yeah, that's a big deal. I think this new guy, Djokovic, might win. He's been, he's, he seems like, people say he's pretty good. So we'll find out today. Whether or not this, uh, jo Djokovic, jo 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 I don't know how to say his name. Djokovic. Djokovic. By the way, he's wearing, <laughs> the guy at the net is wearing the exact same shirt. I wonder who he's going for. He's wearing the same shirt, but it's covered in paint. Wait, hang on, what? So wait, Djokovic, he's got the same shirt as Djokovic, but he fell over in a paint store or something. I don't know what's going <laughs> on. Somebody sprayed that guy with ketchup. Hang on. So that guy's, did he customize his own shirt or did he, is that like, is that like somebody spilled coffee on him? <laughs> it's cool. I like it. It looks cool. And he looks at Djokovic and he says, good luck to you. I don't know about you, but you, good luck. Good luck, Nolay. We love you. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Awful matchup, but I watch. You really don't have to. You really don't have to. Not with that attitude. In fact, I don't want you to watch. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. If you're not going to have a positive attitude, you can leave. Get the hell out of here. All right. 6-4, six, 6-4 four, six, four was a Paul's score, by the way. So, Umber versus Paul. That's where we're at. Uh, Paul will take on Djokovic, which he already has uh, a couple of times. Or maybe... Did he only... Have they only played the once, maybe? Maybe only once. Don't know if you've streamed Nardi before, but you'll get to see what he look what he's like. Yeah, we don't, I don't think we've ever watched Nardi. We didn't watch the Mickey Mouse Cup, so we haven't watched him there. Uh, I'm sad for Osaka lost. Yeah, that was a bugger. That was such a shit match, dude. <laughs> it was such a bad match. It was such a, like that was such a disappointing match all around. Like it wasn't even it's not even like Mertens played well. You know, it's just like man, this is just hard to watch. It was just sad. It's a sad, crappy serving, crappy ground strokes, but boring, crappy, crappy crap. Okay, players are ready. They're warming up. They're doing serves. They're hitting smashes. Things are happening. Um, what is your favorite? What is your favorite and least favorite Masters One Thousand event? Um, I have a soft spot for Monte Carlo just because in 2019, uh, it was the first tournament back from uh, a couple of months of being <laughs> unable to stream because of YouTube. And then, but my least favorite? I don't know. I mean, my, Miami, I don't like Miami as much as I, like, 
I don't like the new courts where they're playing. I don't like the weather. I feel like Miami's not even a tennis event anymore. Like, it's not a tennis venue. It's just like... It's like phone a, phone a court. It's just... I don't know. Miami is the one that I... We watch it, but... That's the one that just doesn't... It lost it still lost so much when they moved. Like, they might have made... They make more money or whatever, but they just lost so much... They just lost so much history when they moved. Like, the thing with tennis... Is just seeing the footage from like back in the day, and you you're so we're so used to seeing like like here for example, all the history that's in Indian Wells, it's on this court, right? You can just tell. I don't know that like Kuyong used to be Australian Open, and now it's Melbourne Park, but Melbourne Park now is thirty years of history, so it feels like oh, all the all the classic matches that we remember are from Melbourne. So it's going to take time for Miami to build that history again, but I feel like they just lost so much, they just ripped the soul out of it to restart. And I know they had to move because of you know certain reasons it wasn't they didn't want probably didn't want to move but they had to move but i just feel like it's such a it just doesn't feel like a it's not a permanent venue so it's just kind of like and they don't have a roof and then they rain i mean it's just it just seems like it's a temporary space to play um yeah the the hard rock stadium i mean it's it's a football field (laughs) That we put tennis court in the corner of it. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's just a little... And then the car park is just covered in courts. That's, you know, it's... I don't know. Yeah. So Miami. But, I mean, look. Most of the 1,000s are pretty... They're, they're, I mean, they're all the big tournaments are awesome. But Miami's like... You know, they just kind of... Kind of lost me a little bit with that uh, change of court. It's going to take some time to build that history again. Feels like a new... Ve- it feels like a new event, right? For me, it was when Serena left Miami. She was good there, obviously. Okay. Miami looks weird. Generic monster truck rally. Yeah. All right. They're ready to go. They are ready to go. Novak Djokovic. Is he going to serve? I don't know. I just wanted to watch Garcia and Sacri with you all. But now I know you always watch Djokovic. I understand why. I don't like the lopsided matches, but I love the stream. Look, it is what it is. I would have loved to watch that too, but blame, you know, don't blame me. Blame the schedule. Call Indian Wells and tell them, hey, why'd you put a great women's match on at the same time as Djokovic? Why couldn't you put this match on instead of... I don't know. They should have put this match on after this. And then we could have watched both. That's what they did. They should have. They buggered it up. Who they put on after this? I don't even know because we're not watching. Navarro Svetolina is next. So blame, blame, blame the schedule. They buggered it up. I'm annoyed too because I want to watch that as well. But we have to watch Djokovic because that's just what I promised. And I can't help myself. Anyways. Djokovic serving. So is Zachary. We'll keep an eye on that score. Don't you worry. We're not going to watch it. But we're going to keep you up to date with it. All right. Serving the forehand of Nardi. Forehand out from Djokovic into the forehand of Nardi. Again to the forehand of Djokovic. Down the line as Nardi hits back in on the stretch. Djokovic, forehand to the forehand of Nardi on the stretch. Djokovic, cross court again, goes wide. Love 15. Now, no double header. I don't, uh, double headers, I just want to kind of only do when necessary. We can skip Nolate. We cannot. I promise the Djokovic fans would watch him forever. So I'm not going to break that promise to the Djokovic fans. I love 15. As we serve out wide fault from Djokovic. Second serve. Plus, there's so many people in the chat that are probably up at like 3 in the morning to watch this, so I couldn't do them. I couldn't screw them over. I stayed up all night to watch this guy. Second serve. Down the teeth of 4 Nardi. Returning the net. 15 all. Unbelievable. 15 all. Don't worry though. Garcia and um, Sacri are going to be on my second screen, so I will keep an eye on. I do have Garcia on my team, so I need to know what she's doing. I need Garcia to win because I need to win. Garcia was so cheap as well. As we return to the net from Nardi, and it's 30 15. And look, you just never know when a match is not going to uh, going to turn out to be interesting. I mean, the Vukic match, who thought that was going to be three sets? Not me, and I'm Australian. Don't deport me. 
All right, here we go. 30-15, serve. Into the backhand of Nardi. Backhand from Djokovic goes long. 30 all. 30 all. What game are you talking about? I'm talking about tennis. 15, thir uh, sorry, 30 all. 30 all. Djokovic to take. Sorry, Nardi to maybe get a break point here. What the hell? 30 all. Serve down tape is a fault. Second serve. Parry serving for the match against Blinkova, by the way. Blinkova's got a hangover from beating Pagula. 30 all. Serve down to the backhand and Nardi. Return goes out. I mean, it's not baseball. 40 30. Dude hit a home run. <laughs> Nardi's. <laughs> Wrong sport. Wrong sport. All right, 40 30. Djokovic serves to get the first game on board here. Serving the forehand of Nardi. Forehand from Djokovic. To the backhand of Nardi. Again, the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi with the backhand. Again, the backhand of Djokovic. To the backhand of Nardi. Djokovic backhand again. Nardi. Again, backhand, backhand as Nardi goes again with the backhand slice this time. Into the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi again with the backhand down the line. Goes long. One love, Djokovic. First set. One love. All right. 1-0. Nardi isn't doing a thing. Novak is making the errors. Okay. Cool. Okay. One love, Djokovic. Parry plays winner of Garcia and Zachary. Okay. Well, I need Garcia to win. She's in my team. My team is on fire, chat. Like I'm, I'm, I'm. Besides Rabakina, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. If Rabakina didn't, you know, leave the ditch last minute, I would have been feeling better. But I'm feeling pretty good, chat. All right. One love, Djokovic. Am I winning? Nah, not yet. As we serve that wide the front of Djokovic. Four out from Nardi down the line. Great shot. 15, love. 15, love. Let's see what Nardi's made of. Also, Garcia breaks first game of the match. Again, Zachary. Nardi with a serve in the net. Second serve. Second serve in the backhand of Djokovic. Forehand out from Nardi. Into the backhand of Djokovic. As Nardi hits a forehand. Again, the backhand of Djokovic. Into the forehand of Nardi. Cross court's good. Djokovic gets there, but he can't do anything with it. Ends up push, uh, shanking it wide. 30 love. Nice from Nardi. Already taking it up to Djokovic. 30 love. And as Nardi serves again. Thirty love. And as he serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve in the back end of Djokovic. Back end of Nardi in the net. Thirty fifteen. Thirty fifteen. Another serve coming up. 30-15. Serve in the back of the Djokovic. Return the net. 40-15. Parry's got match points, by the way. 40-15. To level this first set. Parry beats Blinkover. Djokovic returns it into the forehand of Nardi. Forehand from Djokovic down the middle. Nardi backhand into the forehand of Djokovic. Into the backhand of Nardi. As Djokovic hits a forehand into the forehand of Nardi on the stretch. Djokovic goes again to the forehand of Nardi. And Nardi puts it wide. 40-30. But, um... Did Blinkova just beat P Pagula, right? 
Yeah, Blinkovic has a hangover problem. Whenever she beats someone big, she's going to lose next round. That seems to be... She's done it twice now in two big events. So whenever Blinkova wins, she'll lose the next round. That is two out of two now. 30-15. Sorry, 40-30. Looking at the wrong score. 40-30. First there's a fault from Nardi. Second serve. Second serve is a double fault. Check my salt in there. It's a trend. Hey, look, she's not the only one. A lot of players have that problem. They get the biggest, one of the biggest wins of their career, and then they uh, they just can't back it up. And they're also expected, right? The, the expectations, you know, on that person to be like, hey, well, you did it once. Do it again. You're playing someone, you know, Parry and Pagula are totally different. But, um, yeah, she has beaten. In fact, she lost to Pagula last week and then beats her this week. That was pretty good. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize they played last week. Anyways, we're back in a... She beats Rebecca and I lose to Paolini, though. So, I mean, Paolini's been pretty good. She beats your Shremska, loses to Pagula. Man, that's all right. She's been, actually played... Her and Pagula have played a lot. They've played three times over the last six months. And it's 2-1 Pagula. As that goes wide from Djokovic, 1-1. Nadia on the board. So Blinkova beat Garcia at Roland Garros in 23. Did she lose the next round? Can I see that? No. <laughs> Where are we? So she lost, she beat Garcia and then lost to Svetlina at the French Open last year. Um, so that happened. So it's happened three times. And then. Yeah, that's... They're the biggest wins of her career. Well, she beat Benchich in Shenzhen back in 2020. And then lost in the next round to Diaz, who was 75. So beat the 8, loser 75. Is it a 4 and a 4 and rally? Another one into the forehand of Nardi. 4 and from Djokovic to the forehand of Nardi. And Nardi puts it wide. 30 love. So... The moral of the story is, chat, if Nardi... Uh, sorry, if... um. Blink of a beats a top 10 player, she will lose the next match. It's happened four times. When she beats top 10 players, she loses the second, the round after. It doesn't matter if she plays the number 170 in the world. It happens. When Blink of a wins, she loses. 30 love. First there's a fault for Djokovic. Second serve. Second serve. To the backhand of Nadi. Forehand from Djokovic to the backhand of Nadi. Into the slice of Djokovic, but Nadi hits it wide. 40 love. Also Garcia, 2 love, first set. 40 love. Also, we've got um, some doubles going on. Pagula's playing with uh, Goff in doubles against Dollar Hyde and uh, Krovchek. Krovchek. Oh, I don't know. Um, somebody can correct me. As Djokovic says, a fault. Second serve. Second serve. As Nadi returns, backhand to Djokovic, backhand to Nadi into the front of Djokovic, in the back of Nadi. As Djokovic's backhand goes down the line, Nadi on the stretch gets it, smacks it down to the slice of Djokovic. As Nadi hits a backhand cross court, Djokovic gets it, goes down the line, nice shot. Nadi slices it back into the front of Djokovic. Nadi with a pass. Djokovic with a half volley pickup. Nadi gets it with a pass, too good. This is going to be on tennis TV, bro. Nadi just knew Djokovic wasn't going to go that way. 40-15. Smart from Nadi. 40-15. Nadi gets Paul and Rude. Um, or Monfils. The Monfils there, too. Okay. As Djokovic serves, an ace out wide. All right, two one. Nole, he leads in this first set. We got some banger matches, chat. I'm looking at the uh, tomorrow's. Pardon me. Tomorrow we got like a uh, big, big day. Yeah. But we're starting to get really big matches on this side of the draw too. Fritz Runa, fire. Possibly Dimitrov Medvedev, fire. Rude Monfils, fire. 
Winner of this place, Paul. If it's Djokovic, Paul, fire. On the women's side, we've got possibly Svetlana Sabalenka. Mertens Goff, okay. Uh, Yuan taking on Kazakina, meh. And Parry takes on Ka uh, either Zachary or Garcia. So, not too much fire on the women's side. Only the Sabalenka matchup, potentially. But everything else on the men's side, bloody crazy. We're just getting all the great matches. Should I chuck a sticky tomorrow? Tomorrow's going to be pretty crazy. Tomorrow will be pretty, pretty nuts. Fourth round starts tomorrow. Yep. So, unlike previous years, uh, the fourth round is actually over two days. Usually, the fourth round's like crammed. But tomorrow, it's it's going to be one time, and then the quarterfinals are crammed. So, it's not going to be like usual. Usually, it's everyone plays on the same day at fourth round, but it's not this time. Not this time. This time around, it's going to be split. And then on uh, Thursday, we have everybody play. So, Thursday, quarterfinals. Which means that the, the ladies that play in two days, so who, whoever plays today has to play three matches in a row. Because you've got fourth round in two days for the, like Sabalenka, for example. And then you've got quarterfinals and semis. So three days in a row, Sabalenka's going to have to play, potentially. Bill Gates is back. Is he, only, he only rocks up the nice sessions, obviously. Is Bill Gates like 70? How old is Bill Gates? Sixty-eight. I was close. I was close. Ah, right, two-one. As Djokovic hits in the net. Fifteen, love. And now Pagula hasn't played for a couple of days. She lost a couple of days ago. Right, Fifteen, love. Served in the tee from Nardi is a fault. Second serve. Nobody beats Monfils 20 times in a row. Oh, we'll hear that if he beats Rude. As that goes out from Djokovic on the return. 30, love. Well, three days in a row is wild. Yeah, unless they've changed the, the, the semi-final format. But I'm pretty sure it's three days in a row. Serve. Into the back end of Djokovic. Four now from Nardi. In the net. 30-15. Um, I'm pretty sure it's three days. Let me check the tickets. 30-15. It's been a serve. Into the net. Second serve. Second serve. Down the tee, the Fauna Djokovic turn goes back into Nardi. Djokovic forehand into the Fauna Nardi. Again to the Fauna Djokovic on the stretch. Up into the air. Nardi with a forehand inside out. Djokovic gets with the backhand. A bit of a moon ball again. As Nardi hits a forehand down the line. Djokovic gets it. Forehand cross court. Nardi goes down the line again. A bit of a moon ball, but it's into the backhand of Djokovic. Again, the Fauna Nardi. Is Djokovic backhand. Goes in the backhand of Nardi. Again, the backhand of Djokovic. Drop shot from Nole. Nardi gets there, but couldn't get it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hits a wide anyway. 30 all. Chance for Djokovic to break here. 30 all. Um, 30 all. All right, serve again. For Nardi, he's under pressure for the first time today. Serve. Into the Fauna Djokovic. Great serve. And Nardi, with a bit of a fist bump, gets to 40 30. Djokovic returns it long. Yeah, so. So it's going to be tomorrow, fourth round. Wednesday, fourth round. Thursday, quarterfinals for everybody. Women's semis on Friday. Men's semis on Saturday. And then the finals both on Friday. Uh, on Sunday. As that goes out from Nardi, we're at Deuce. So, yeah. The winners of today will have to play three in a row to make the final. They won't get a day off. So we're talking Sabalenka. We're talking Goff. Uh, Kazakina, Mertens, Yuan, Zachary or Garcia, Parry, 
Svetlina and Navarro, they're all going to play three days in a row to make the final. You've got to win three da days in a row, which is not unusual, but it's... But it is unusual for a two-week Masters. It doesn't seem fair. Seems a bit weird. But they get a day off before the final, so it's not like you have to play three days and then the final, so... Backhand now from Nardi down the line. Great shot. Djokovic gets there with a slice, but it's in the net. Advantage, Nardi. 2-2, uh, two -two, by the way. Garcia. So, Sakari broke back. All right, Nardi with the advantage. As we just serve. Down and see an ace. All right. Nardi holds. 2-2. Two -two. Uh, chat, by the way, I'm just trying to find. So women's semi-final day. Is it only day session? They're not playing at night? Seems weird. Or are they, they sold out the night session, maybe. I thought they play the semis during the day, uh, one in the day, one at the night. Can't remember. Anyone, anyone remember last year? <laughs> two, two. Um, man, I wish I could spell. All right, 2-2 two, two, as Djokovic hits it out. Love, 15. I miss the days where Deb used to roast Djokovic. Look. We can't be roasting players. It's not a good look. It's not a good look in general. Just in general. Drop shot there from... Djokovic is a winner. 15 0. All right, so let me have a look. So last year. Last year. I had a desk. But also, it wasn't a piano. 9 a.m. I oh, know. So they played last year, they played two night session matches or afternoon matches. Wait. 3 p.m. So they started, must have started. 3 p.m., which is 9 a.m. my time, which is totally great. Jogger's 30.15, which means I sleep in. That's weird. Sakri versus Sabalenka last year's semi. Start at 3 p.m., so that means the second match must have been night time. All right, 30.15. As that goes... Into the ground from Nardi, and it's 40-15. Look. Yeah, so the second match started at 6 p.m., so it must have been back-to-back. -back. But, like, starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, right? As the return goes in the back of Djokovic, Nardi guesses right, and hits a passing shot winner. 40-30. Deb's taking one for the team. Yeah, she is. Wow, Zachary, four games in a row. You can't count. It's three in a row. So don't come in here and pretend like you know the scores. Come on now. I know you're doing that on purpose. Don't be a dick. 40-30. Come on, don't be a smart ass. I'm going to... Oh, well, don't, don't make up scores. As a cert four now from Djokovic, that goes wide. Deuce. Last chance. Last chance. You do it done it every day for three weeks. All right. Mods. Deuce. As Djokovic serves again. Dude's been timed out 23 times and he still hasn't learned. What the hell? 
I feel like I feel, mods. I feel like we've given him twenty three chances. Is enough. I think that's enough, right? 23, 23 times you've been timed out. You still don't know. You still come back like, come on. 23, 23, 23, chat. That's a record. 23 chances. <laughs> Bloody hell. All right, Deuce. Djokovic trying to hold and stay in front here. Yeah, that's, that's just some crazy shit. There's been a four now into the backhand. Of Nardi, four now from Djokovic down the line, and Nardi gets it with a forehand into the forehand of Djokovic. And Djokovic in the net. Nardi gets a break point. Yeah, dude. I feel like 24 and you're 24, and that's it. Slow learner? That's not a slow learner, that's just like, it doesn't even want to learn. 23, bloody hell. Congratulations. All right, advantage, Nardi. Break point. To take the break in, Nardi. As we just served in the tee. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Nardi with a chance to break. He wanted to be Jordan. Yeah. Oh well. As we just forehand now from Djokovic into the form of Nardi. Djokovic forehand. Again to the forehand of Nardi, down the line to the backhand of Djokovic. Is Nardi's backhand. Slice goes into the slice of Djokovic. Nardi with a pass. Djokovic to the volley. Nardi gets it. Puts it away. What the hell is going on? 3-2 Nardi. He breaks. What the hell? Is that a stream record? The artists don't know how they... How we haven't... How have we been this patient? That's crazy. Can't believe it. Somebody's been banned 23 times and still comes back and... <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know how that happened. But 24 and done. It's a good run. They had a good run. All right. Nardi. 3-2... With a break. Where the hell? What's it, what is it with Italians and Djokovic? What did he do? What did he put pineapple on pizza? And they all kind of want to beat him up now? What's up? I know it's illegal. Shit. Okay. Three, two, Nardi. Sinner gave him tips. Yeah. Sinner's like, hey, I'll tell you how to beat him. I've beaten three times in, a, in, a, in four. Naughty party. That's it. The naughty party. <laughs> Sounds weird. All right. Here we go. I bet 60 bucks on Luca with odds of $10. Jeez. Wild. Okay. Naughty. Three, two, 25 minutes. Nardi with the break. He serves. In the back end of Djokovic. Back end of Nardi. Drop shot. It's too good. 15 love. 15 love. Fifteen love as we get a fault from. We get a fault from Nardi, second serve. Into the back end of Djokovic, four net from Nardi. Get into the four to Djokovic as Nardi gets a point and Ole in the net. 30 love. 30 love. My betting side had Nardi at 20 to 1. Jesus. I mean, that's crazy. But also. Not surprising as Djokovic slice return goes to back in the Nardi. Djokovic lob. Oh, sorry, pass. Too good. <clears throat> this is going to be your finish. Lovely little flick. 30 15. 30 15. Serve again. Sakri and Garcia 3 3, by the way, first set. Cam, you're actually so good, and I, I appreciate your hard work for these videos. No worries. 
30-15. Serving the back of the Djokovic. Four now from Nardi is wide. 30 all. 30 all. Chance for Djokovic to break straight back. Thirty all. As Nardi serves, a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Djokovic. Return goes to the back end of Nardi. As Djokovic hits the backhand into the forehand of Nardi again to the back end of Djokovic. Nardi backhand is good to the back end of Djokovic. Down the line of the forehand of Nardi. Djokovic forehand goes into the back end of Nardi. Again to the forehand of Djokovic as Nardi gets the point. Norway hits it long. 40-30. Nardi for the 4-2 lead. Okay. 40-30. Nardi for 4-2. Just trying to get his serve. 40-30, Nardi with the serve. There's a fault. Second serve. Second serve, the forehand of Djokovic. Return the forehand of Nardi. Sliced into the forehand of Djokovic. Nardi with the forehand down the line. And Djokovic is the backhand cross court. Nardi gets it again. Back in now Djokovic on the stretch. It's good. Nardi goes down the middle. And Djokovic goes cross court into the forehand of Nardi. To the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi gets another free point. It's 4-2, Nardi. Djokovic hitting the ball all sorts of out. 4-2. Goran looks concerned. Djokovic needs to stop experimenting and just play his game. Who is my all-time goat? Like of life? My parents. Okay. 4-2 Nardi. Djokovic serving. It's a bit breezy out there as well. And... He's playing Italian, and that's terrible for Djokovic for some reason. Australians and Italians. Djokovic just doesn't like playing them lately. Ace out wide. 15 love. 15 love. It is breezy. 15 love. Serve out wide the back end of Nardi, and Nardi hits it long. 30 love. Thirty love. Winner plays Tommy Paul. Thirty love. Serve. Is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. The back end of Nardi. Return goes in the back end of Joker. Nardi with a volley. Oh, what a shot! Come on. All right. He's getting a little fancy now. Nardi with a bit of a, a, a saber, but it, that drop volley was Federer-like. Now, that was a Federer shot. A two-handed backhand attack, and then the drop shot, that was Federer-like. I mean, he's been watching the saber tutorial on the Colt Tennis channel. Go watch it. Saber, Colt Tennis. Go watch it. First as a fault, second serve. 30-15. Second serve. To the four and Nardi. Return goes out. Pardon me. Good second serve. 40-15. Chance for Djokovic to hold and just keep the pressure on Nardi. 40-15. Djokovic serves an ace. 4-3. Nardi with the break, but Djokovic holds. Four games to three. Who's your goat on women's tennis? Serena. Serena. Who's the greatest player that ever touched a racket? Novak Djokovic. Silly question. Almost, a, it's a boring question because it's an obvious answer. <laughs> like, come on. Or are you trying to bait me? That's what you're doing, aren't you? I know what it is. I know what it is. I know you're. I know what you're. You're doing. You're not the first one to try and get me. I know what you're trying to do. Who's the greatest player of all time? 
Guy on the television. Guy on the t on my phone. If you don't say Djokovic, I'm going to rip you in shreds. And it's like, come on. We all know the answer by now. We don't, we don't need to trick anybody. Come on. Come on now. We all know it's Djokovic. And nobody says otherwise. Come on. Yeah, yeah you know. You know. You know. You're cheeky. You know. Who's the greatest player of all time? Don't say Djokovic. Don't say Djokovic. Don't say Djokovic. Djokovic. Damn it. Damn it. I was hoping he'd say Federer so I could laugh at him. Oh, I wanted him to say Rafa so I could yell at him. Come on now. Come on. We all know the answer. Uh, Federer between 2009, 2005 and nine, 2005 and 2009. Best player I've seen f for a five-year period. Okay, cool. Uh, they just need constant validation. No, no, it's just, there's people trying to, trying to get us. It's not going to work. Because we all know the answer. Serena. Uh, 4-3. As Nadi serves. Good try, though. <laughs> it's been returned in the net from Djokovic. 15 love. What, I wonder what the N stood for and Carlos wrote on the on, uh, means. Well, at first I thought it would be Nole, but... Uh, Emily, I think, said it was for Nike, and it's kind of to create buzz. It's like... And I, I think it, it's so smart from Carlos. I mean, it's, like, if it's, a, if it's because um, he's trying to bring out his own Nike range, like, everyone's like, what does it mean? And then he's like... You know, in Miami, he's like, hey, I'm wearing my own stuff. And it's like, oh, cool. Like, you know, it's. I feel like it's just a bit of a... I think it's a bit of a... Uh, he's just trying to get uh, trying to get us talking about, whoa, what does it mean? And then he's like, you know, people looking up Elkraz, what's he doing? Oh, what did he do? You know. I'm sure the next... If he wins tomorrow, he'll put an I, and then he'll put a K, and then an E. And we'll be like, oh. It's just marketing. Okay. <laughs> 15 0. Or it's Djokovic. I mean, it's either Nike or Djokovic. Back end goes in there from Nardi. 15 30. Yeah, it's, uh, I feel like it's just, mark it's just a marketing trick. Zachary, by the way, is winning. 5 3. I think Alcrez is, I mean, Alcrez is going to get his own, like a Rafa style outfits, right? He's going to get his own uh, if he hasn't already. As that goes out from Djokovic, 30 all. So, uh, yeah, it's it's probably... It seems a little... I don't know. I don't know. It could, it could definitely be a marketing thing. Or it's Djokovic. Like, it's it's N for Djokovic. So, or Nole. N for Djokovic. Silent N. NDJ, OK... As we go four now from Djokovic, that goes wide. 40-30. Nardi's holding his own. Good serving. And he's about to take a 5-3 lead against a great one. 40-30. 40-30. As Nardi serves again. Down the tee, the four to Djokovic. Turn the net. 5-3 Nardi. Here we go. Who said Djokovic 2-0? Me. <laughs> I did. 5-3. <laughs> Amongst others. I'm sure everyone said that. I definitely said it. And here we go. Djokovic serving to stay in the set. He's down five threes. He serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the forehand of Nardi. Nardi in the net. 15 love. 15 love. There's another serve. Nardi returns. Forehand Djokovic. Oh, was it not a 15 love? Hang on. What happened? It was a let. All right, Nardi gets there with a forehand. Oh, and he hits a winner. The drop shot was good, but the pass was better. It's left 15. Nardi's got some wheels. He can run. He's a bit of a speed demon. 
I thought it was the 15 love. Maybe the fir first serve must have been a, a left. Djokovic didn't know where to stand. He was standing in the middle of nowhere. Coaches loved it. Love 15. Serve. Into the fauna. Nardi. Return goes in. The fauna. Djokovic. Nardi on the stretch. Hits it out. 15 all. 15 all. Oh, so we're going to serve again. Where's Rafa? Probably in Europe. Probably home. Probably at home. Spain somewhere. As we're back in return. Nope, it's a fault from Djokovic. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve into the forehand is double fault. What are we doing? Check myself what? in there. What the hell is going on? What the hell is this? 1530. It's fine, I got Nardi in my team, but bloody hell. 1530. Sakri won the first set, 6 3. As uh, Djokovic serves into the back of Nardi. Serve and volley Djokovic. It's a terrible drop shot. Nardi gets it. Lob from Djokovic. Nardi's going to hit a forehand. And Djokovic puts away this volley again. Luckily, 30 0. And Djokovic having a bit of chat to himself as he walks to the baseline. 30 0. Nardi, yeah, he's, again, he's very quick. Making Djokovic hit a lot of shots. Oh, they look at, really awkward at the net there. All right, 30 all as we have served down the back of the Nardi. Four from Djokovic. He's a winner. That's better. Meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. 40 30. Djokovic, make Nardi serve out this set. Forty thirty. First serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. To the backhand of Nardi. Backhand from Djokovic to the backhand of Nardi. Djokovic hits the forehand again to the forehand of Nardi. Into the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi backhand in the net. Five four. Djokovic holds. Nardi's going to have to serve out this set. Who did Nardi replace? Uh, he replaced Echeverry, who has, I think, a knee problem. Is that correct, chat? Knee? I think it's a knee issue. Um, yeah. Okay. Djokovic is injured. Don't you start that shit. I don't want to hear it. I'll tell you when he's injured. He's got some fatigue issues, so he's taking some gels, but he ain't injured. Hamstring, okay, yeah. Yep. 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 Yep, he's injured. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're injured. The comment, that comment was injured. Medical timeout for that chatter. Medical timeout for the chat. He's got gastro. So does everybody. Um, too early to worry about Nola, yeah. I mean, if he's got gastro in a, or an injury, it's too different. Gastro's on an injury, so. Vamos Nola. Um, no, I don't, he doesn't have gastro. Someone just said that, like, someone just put it in the chat. Just because chat says it doesn't mean it's true. In fact, usually when chat says it, it means it's not true. 50% of the time. <laughs> Half the time. Remember that Wozniacki withdrew bullshit that we were talking about earlier? I mean, she hasn't withdrawn yet. She probably will, but not today. Remember Dimitrov? He wasn't supposed to play, somebody said. And somebody said 5-2 Sakri, and it was only 4 well, 3 2. It's crazy, man. As we have 4 now from Nardi. Volley from Djokovic. Nardi with a volley. Winner. Nardi's got good hands in the net as well. He is the new tennis, you know, he's a new style of player. He ticks the boxes. 15 love. 
Why do people make stuff up? Because they're bored. And probably sleep deprived. I get it. It's three in the morning. You probably don't know what you're saying. <laughs> and there's a bit of fault from Nardi. Second serve. Second serve into the backhand of Djokovic. Return the backhand of Nardi. As Djokovic is the forehand inside out. Nardi gets it with the backhand into the forehand of Djokovic. He goes in the line. Great shot. Nardi with a slice. Can't get it. 15 all. 15 all. Fifteen all is Nardi serves again. Fifteen all. Let's get back and return now. The forehand of Nardi. That's a great shot. Thirty fifteen. Djokovic must retire. Cam, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Thirty fifteen. Two points away. Yeah. 30-15. Nardi to take the first set two points away. So didn't see from Nardi's an ace. Woo! Set points. Set points for Nardi to take the first set. What a f weird turn of events. <laughs> okay. 40-15. Nardi serves. Down the tee. Djokovic returns in the net. Wow. Wow. What the hell just happened? Luca Nardi takes the first set against the great one. What the hell are we watching? What in the hell just happened? 45 minutes. And Nardi wins the first. He's a lucky loser. He wasn't even supposed to be here. He wasn't even supposed to be here. Winner takes on Tommy Paul. Djokovic is going to the bathroom. Somebody called it. Who called it, chat? Somebody called it. All right. Nardi, 6-4. Six, uh, six, Wowza. With Carlos bursting onto the scene two years ago, I think it's going to be more common to see the young up-and-comers with a more diverse and aggressive style. Yeah. It's going to be developed into their game early. Agree. Thank you for the two. Yeah. No, I agree. I think there's a lot of young players, like players that are under 23, they're all playing the same. They all can volley. They all can hit little, little slicey dicey drop shots. They all have big serves or big games on serve. You know, they can, they can hit hard. I mean, that's the style. There's not too many players under the age of 23 that haven't haven't got that like that all round game, um, and the ones that are over 23 that don't have it, Felix Ojeda same, um, or don't use it, Felix Ojeda same, are gonna be left behind, you know. Musetti as well. I mean, Musetti needs to start using his net game as well. He's too. He was too. You know what the problem is? And I found, I realized this today with Musetti, right? Musetti stands too far behind the baseline and he waits for the ball. So what when you watch him next time, right? Here's a great backhand, whoop de whoop de whoop, you know. One hands up, you know, whatever. But he he moves backwards to wait so the ball comes down and he can hit it. Instead of like being a little bit more aggressive where he can hit it on the rise. You know, look at Runa, right? Runa hit, let, hits the ball on the rise. You know, Sinner hits the ball on the rise. Alcaraz hits the ball on the rise. Very hard to hit the backhand one hand a backhand on the rise. It's a very hard shot, very hard to time. Because you don't have the extra hand to control. So instead of that, you can see Musetti do it. He, st he moves back. And he hits the ball as it comes down instead of hitting it when it's, you know. So he's he's going to struggle with that one hand a backhand unless he gets a bit more aggressive with it. Which is very hard to do because not many players can do that. Hit a backhand, one hand a backhand on the rise. I mean, that's a bloody tough shot. Better made it look easy. So, and he does it on the forehand too. He like, he stands back and he waits for the ball to drop instead of hitting it on the rise. Again, watch Elkris tomorrow. Watch Runa. These guys go after it. They're trying to hit the ball as a, as a, like the Agassi, right? But Musetti did not, when I saw that today, I was like, hang on, Musetti's, where he's standing is because of the ball 
And it's like he, he gets pushed back a lot. He doesn't go, he doesn't push into the court, which is really interesting. And he's going to struggle because that one-handed backhand is going to be a liability to do that shot. All right. Uh, team, in fact, did uh, did that a lot, and it make it caused him not to do very well. Musetti was learned, but the problem is the difference with Team and Musetti is that Team was playing in an era where that was fine, having time was fine. You know, standing back behind the baseline with time to spare was not a was not a bad thing. Whereas the problem Musetti is going to have is if he stands far behind the baseline to let the ball drop to hit it in in the hitting zone. Alcaraz is going to be at the net by the time he's ready to hit the backhand. Whereas if he hits it on the rise and is a little more aggressive, which is super risky, but if he does it, he won't get attacked at the net. The net won't be in play if he if he hits it on the rise because there's not enough time for anyone to come to the net. So that's what's going to be a problem for Musetti is if he keeps on, if he doesn't at, like learn how to hit it on the rise, he's going to give up the net, which is going to give up the point. Like we saw today with Runa. So just something to think about when we watch uh, Musetti next time. Because back when team was playing, I mean, Medvedev, Zverev, Rafa, you know, Nole, City Pass, all these guys, they don't stand, they don't come to the net. They're not, they're not trying to come to the net. You know, so team had the time to do that, but Musetti will not have that time. And he's not going to, unless he adjusts, he's going to lose. And he's not going to be able to keep up with the guys that are aggressive, you know. Back in a backhand rally. As that goes down the line and wide from Nardi. 15 love. Djokovic serving first in the second. He just lost the first set. What the hell are we talking about? Ah, 15 love. Garcia's career is done. I mean, she's down a set and a break. Zachary's doing well. Okay. As we serve down, see the forehand of Nardi. Forehand from Djokovic is a winner. 30 love. This is why I watch the stream. I learn something every stream. Well, I hope so. It was something that I learned watching. I was like, Musetti keeps on... Like, he is not hitting the ball. Like, he is... He is... The moon balls are pushing him back, and that's what they're there for. But he need, he doesn't he doesn't have that half volley from the baseline backhand. He's, he's too... He's playing a little too defensive, and, and he didn't even stand a chance against Runa, really. Is it a back-end back rally? Nardi gets the point. Nole hits it out. 30-15. 30-15. Djokovic versus Mofis is insufferable. Well, Djokovic is going to lose. So. Nobody beats Gail Mofis 200 times in a row. That's what they say, right? As we had a serve. Into the four to Nardi. Return the four to Djokovic. Nardi backhand. In the net. 40-15. 40-15. Chance for Djokovic to win the first game of the second. 40-15. Serve in the four to Nardi. Return goes long. One love Djokovic. Nardi won the first 6-4. All right. <clears throat> All right. Doesn't Djokovic always struggle in the wind? Yeah, when it's windy? Yeah. Why is your scoreboard not updating? I don't know. Because you scared it. <laughs> You're spooked. You got scared. Maybe this mob feast has a chance. He's got to be rude first. I mean, Monfils has to be rude. He's still got to do that first. And rude is no pushover. Cena can reach the semifinals easily. Okay. Cool. As Djokovic returns it long. 15 love. This would be upset of the year if it happens, by the way. Just, just say, like, just, just saying. Upset of the year is happening right now. This is what we're watching, just in case. A lucky loser beating Djokovic at a massive tournament is massive upset. Love uh, 15 love is not. It's a winner. 30 love. 
Your analysis on Musetti is spot on. He must change his approach. Otherwise, uh, at that level, he would be sidelined. Uh, first should change on the team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and he's more of a clay core guy. Anyway, Musetti, like his best results are on clay. As Nadi hits another win of 40 love. But even on clay, like the guys are coming to the net on clay these days. You know, serve and volleys on clay are becoming more of a thing, which Sampras wishes had happened back in his day. But he might get away with it a bit. But again, if you're standing behind the baseline and Alcarez runs to the net because he's got 20 minutes to get there, good luck. As that goes out from Nadi, 4015. How is Nadi a lucky loser? Because he lost in the qualies. And then he came back and won. All right, 40-15. 40-15. So, don't see the back of Djokovic. Return goes into the corner. Nardi. Djokovic guesses right. Volley from Nardi. Hit the tape. Djokovic backhand. Straight at Nardi. And he says, sorry, Nole. I didn't mean to hit it at you. 40-30. Whose spot did Nardi t uh, get? He got uh, Echeverry's. Echeverry's spot is the... Uh, Echeverry. 40-30. Uh, 40-30. As Nadi serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Is a double fault. Both hitting the tape. And flying long. And it's deuce. We get to Deuce. Zachary, by the way, three love in the second with a double break against Garcia. Great for Zachary to get, pardon me, to potentially get that win. Serving the four to Djokovic. Nardi with a drop slice. Djokovic slices the back. Nardi backhand. Again to the back of Djokovic. Nardi again with a backhand into the Djokovic. Backhand just cross court with the backhands. Keeps going. Backhand to backhand. Top spin backhands. Now down the line from Nardi. Djokovic gets it with a forehand. Nardi slices it back. Djokovic down the line. Nardi's there. With a backhand cross court. Djokovic gets it with a drop shot. But Nardi's there with time to spare. And Nolay gets us right. Oh, Nardi. This is going to be on tennis TV. He hit it straight to Djokovic on the volley. And Nolay gets his first break point of the day. First of the day. You heard that right, Chad. I said first. All right, break point. Bill Gates loved it. All right, Bill Gates, he loves it, Bill Gates. Anyways, serve Nardi is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. To the back end of Djokovic, return is shanked into the front of Nardi. Djokovic gets on the forehand on the stretch. Nardi, forehand down the line. Djokovic is there. With the backhand into the backhand of Nardi. Nardi hits in the net. Wow. That was a bit of a... Bit of a let off there from Nardi. And it's... 1-1. One, one. Oh, sorry. 2-love in the second. 2-love in the second. 2-love. As Djokovic serves now with the break. Two love. As Djokovic serves into the fauna. Nardi, fauna from Djokovic down the line in the net. Love 15. Love 15. Djokovic has hit 10 unforced errors in this match, by the way. It's not been pretty. As Djokovic serves again. In the back of the Nardi. Nardi in the net. 15 all. 15 all.
As right, so we get a return now from Nardi, but no, Jokic shows a five-second serve. Second serve. Into the Fauna Nardi. Fauna from Djokovic into the Fauna Nardi. Down the line of the backhand of Djokovic. As Nardi hits the backhand. Into the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi again with the backhand. Into the backhand of Djokovic. As Nardi goes cross court with the forehand. Djokovic gets there. Forehand to forehand. As Nardi again to the Fauna Djokovic. And Djokovic in the net. 15 30. Chance to get the break back here. Nardi. 15 30. Djokovic serves again. First time Djokovic has lost the first set to a lucky loser at a Masters 1000 in his career. Wow, that's a stat. That's a stat. He's going to serve out wide from Nole. He's an ace. 30 all. Massive serve from Nole. 30 all. It's his fourth ace of the day. 30 all. Djokovic serves again. As we serve now the slice of Nardi. Backhand from Djokovic to the backhand of Nardi. Again to the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi backhand to backhand as Djokovic makes Nardi slice. Into the backhand of Djokovic. Drop shot. No lay. Nardi can't get that one. 40 30. That drop shot was. But Nardi's getting a little annoyed, as he should. Because Djokovic is ready. Also, Garcia gets one of the breaks back. 40-30. Djokovic to take the three-love lead in the second. What's going on, Leo? How you doing? 40-30. Right, As Nole serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. To the backhand of Nardi. Return goes in the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Down the line. As Djokovic gets it with the forehand. Into the backhand of Nardi. Again to the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Down the middle. As Djokovic forehand goes down the line and wide. And we get to deuce. Nardi wants this break back. We get to deuce. By the way, Medvedev quarter. Covered up later. And uh, Svetlina Navarro. Also on the cards. Nardi, by the way, 8.5 on his forehand qu shot quality. That is crazy. Djokovic only a 7.6. Serve down the tee is a fault from Djokovic. Second serve. Second serve in the back end of Nardi. Back end of Djokovic. Into the backhand of Nardi. And Djokovic hits the forehand into the forehand of Nardi. To the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi. Back into backhand. As Djokovic goes again to that Nardi backhand. Djokovic again with the backhand from Nardi. Into the backhand of Djokovic. And Djokovic in the net. Advantage Nardi to get back on serve. Advantage Nardi. One hour played. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> Advantage Nardi. Going down 3-0 means Djokovic will run away with this. Well, that's what they say. Advantage Nardi. Second break point of the day to get back on serve. Serving the Fauna Nardi. Return slice in the net. And we get to deuce. We get back to Deuce. We get back to Deuce. Please don't put scores in the chat. As Djokovic serves. Down to the back of Nardi. Return slice goes into the back end of Djokovic. Back end of Nardi. Again to the back end of Djokovic. As Nardi hits the slice. Into the back end of Djokovic. Again to the back end of Nardi. But Djokovic hit the tape. Nardi hits a backhand. Djokovic guesses right with the slice. Nardi with the volley. It's too good. Nardi with the advantage again. To get back on serve in the second. The crowd appreciate this, this effort from Nardi. 
Advantage to the Italian. To get back on serve. Yeah, Sinner's shot quality on the forehand yesterday. First set was 9.9. .9. I know, it was crazy. His forehand was... I mean, that's got to be the best ever. Advantage, Nardi. Djokovic to the serve. Here's a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve, the Fauna Nardi. Return goes to Fauna Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Into the Fauna Djokovic. To the forehand of Nardi. As Djokovic backhand goes cross court. Nardi's there. With a backhand in the net. Back to Deuce. Nardi had a chance there. A miss, missed chance. And his team knows it. Deuce. Oh, we get to Deuce. As Djokovic serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the fauna of Nardi. Return goes to fauna of Djokovic. Nardi, forehand. Cross court again to the fauna of Djokovic. Into the fauna of Nardi. To the fauna of Djokovic. Nardi again with the forehand. Down in the middle. Djokovic hits the backhand instead. Slice Nardi. Just goes into the slice of Djokovic as Nardi hits the backhand. Again to the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi with the backhand down the line as Djokovic gets there with the forehand on the stretch. Nardi. Cross court. Is a winner. Whoa. This is going to be on Benny's He hit that out of nowhere. There was a slight angle to be hit, but he just whipped it. Out of nowhere, like caught everybody by surprise. Advantage Nardi. What a shot. Like they were just rallying and then he's like, I've had enough. Like he just had enough. Advantage Nardi. Completely took Djokovic by surprise. To get back on serve. Serving to the Fauna Nardi return. It was wide. Good serve. Clutch. Clutch from Djokovic. As we get to Deuce, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to like the video as well. We're almost at 182k. Appreciate that. Now we get to Deuce. As Nole serves again. No, he doesn't. He changed his mind. As he serves now, a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the forehand of Nardi. Return goes to the forehand of Djokovic as Nardi hits a backhand. Cross court of the backhand of Djokovic. Drop shot's not good. Nardi gets it with a slice. Drop shot back. But Djokovic gets it right with the backhand, but it's wide. Nardi is so quick. And Djokovic is making mental errors. Advantage Nardi to get back the break. A nine minute game, by the way. This is a marathon. Advantage Nardi. Advantage, Nardi. To so get back on serve. Serve now, uh, Nole. is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Nardi. And Nardi hits it out. That was a terrible return. We get to Deuce. We get to Deuce. All right, back to Deuce. Djokovic serves. A fault. 
Second serve. Second serve. Into the fauna, Nadi. Return goes in the fauna, Djokovic. Nadi, backhand. Sliced. Into the backhand of Djokovic. As Nadi hits about the backhand. Into the backhand of Djokovic. To the backhand of Nadi. Into that Djokovic backhand as Nadi hits the fauna of the stretch. Djokovic hit it long. Advantage Nadi again. Fourth break point of the game. Advantage Nadi. To get back on serve, 11 and a half minutes played in this game. Advantage Nadi. And Djokovic serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the forehand. And Nardi's a double. Oh no, it was in. Nardi thought it was a double fault. Djokovic drop shot. Wait, what happened? It was a double fault. Wait, what happened? Djokovic got broken. What happened? So wait, Nardi. So wait, Nardi hit the shot back. It was in. Djokovic hit a drop shot that went wide. Nardi thought it was a double fault and like and hesitated. And then Djokovic didn't know what the hell happened. Hit a drop shot. And the umpire called game? I, I don't know what happened. I mean, Nardi, there was nothing wrong with that point. Djokovic just got tricked, I guess, because Nardi, I don't know what the hell happened there. Djokovic broken, so it's 2-1. I don't know what Nardi, what happened to Nardi. Like, Djokovic, I don't know if Djokovic's shot was in or what. But, like, Nardi, there's no way to keep talking to the umpire here. What a wild, I mean, this match has been crazy. Of course, there's a break like this. Weird. Seems like Novak thought Nardi stopped the point. Yeah, because Nardi thought it was a double fault. So he hit the return and then just stood there, but then reacted like, oh shit, it was in. I mean, I don't think Nardi was in the wrong, to be honest. I, I think he honestly thought it was a double fault, but then had to like, oh wait, no, it was in. I don't think, like Nardi shouldn't have lost the point, but Djokovic should have played the point as if it was in. I mean, he he's the one who should have played. Nardi, Nardi hesitating was not, I mean, there's nothing, I mean, he thought it was a double fault and he went, oh, no, it's not. And then, you know, there's nothing he could do there. Um, Djokovic just should have reacted better to the Nardi return. So, jo so, okay, so Djokovic didn't, he hit a drop shot and then he didn't play the point. Yeah, look, not, not, there was nothing Nardi was, Nardi didn't do anything wrong there. Yeah, Nardi, Nardi's like, sorry. I mean, he goes, I thought it was a double fault. I just hit it back, you know. And then Djokovic hit a drop shot because he thought it was, he thought Nardi stopped the point. But then Djokovic shouldn't have stopped the, he stopped the point. Like, Nole stopped the point. Either way, Nardi got the break back. It was just a weird turn of events. I think Djokovic wouldn't have hit that drop shot had he thought it was a... Uh, if, had he thought that um, Nardi won the point. Or hadn't have won the point. 15 love anyways. Nardi, we're back on serve. That was just a weird, strange point. And not, Nardi didn't mean anything by it. He wasn't doing that on purpose. There was no, like, mucking... There was no pretending. Um, he just... He thought it was a double fault. Hit it back really soft. And then Djokovic thought it was a double fault. So Nardi... Then Nardi hit a winner. It was weird. Anyways, that goes out from Nardi, 15 all. Yeah, I don't think you need a replay for that, though. There wasn't much of a replay needed. Because Djokovic should have played the point. He assumed that it was... I don't know what he thought. He thought he double faulted? I don't know what he... Um, it was weird. Nolay should have, shouldn't have stopped. Anyways, 15 all. As Nardi serves out wide the Fauna Djokovic, return goes in the Fauna Nardi, Djokovic backhand, 
Into the backhand of Nadi. Again, the backhand of Djokovic. Nadi hits backhand. Cross court again to the backhand of Djokovic. That goes in. Nadi down the line. Too easy. Djokovic looks so weird. 30 15. I mean, he looks. Djokovic looks off. Now, Djokovic is not getting angry. He, he doesn't look angry. He looks un, unbothered, which is not. Which is concerning. Djokovic just doesn't look right. 30 15. Serve in the backhand of Djokovic. Great return. Nadi gets there, but it's wide. And it's 30 all. Chance for Djokovic to break again. 30 all. Thirty all as Nadi serves. Needs to get a big serve here. Serve. Is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. The back end of Djokovic. Back in Nadi. That's a good shot. Nolay with the slice in the net. Another error from Djokovic. 40 30. Nadi to level up in the second. 40-30. To level this up. 40-30. Serving the four to Djokovic return. Goes long. Nadi holds. 2-2. Two -two. Nadi holds. Okay. Back to Djokovic's serve now. All right, 30 minutes played. That second game was, uh, or that third game was marathon. That's why it took so long. All right, 2-2. Two -two. As Djokovic serves. Out wide, the 490, 90 in the net. 15 love. 15 love. Serve down the tee from Djokovic is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. As the return goes in, the Fauna Djokovic, Fauna from Nadi. Down the line as Djokovic hits the backhand on the stretch. Nadi cross court again. The backhand of Djokovic. Nadi again with the backhand, but Djokovic hit it wide. Fifteen all. That was a bad backhand. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. Djokovic serves. Down the tee. Nadi returns. Jogger swinging volley. That's a better shot. Puts it away. 30 15. 30 15. Oh, they're trying to get some. Get some uh, composure here. It's all, he's all over the place. Return from Nadi goes in the corner. Djokovic. Djokovic reacts late. As Nadi goes down the line. Djokovic on the stretch. As Nadi goes cross court again. Djokovic on the stretch again. To the back end of Nadi. Who hits it in the net. Wow. Nadi goes. If that goes over. That's a winner. It didn't though. 40 15. But if it did, it would have been. You watch on tennis TV? 40 15. As Djokovic serves to take the lead again. Nadi returns. Goes long. 3-2. Djokovic holds. Much, much easier that time. Okay. We're back. Back in control. Djokovic. 3-2. Uh, Nadi shots a flat AF. Yeah. He smacks the crap out of the ball. For sure. Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? All right. How are we, chat? Chat, I want you to tell me what what time is it where you are? Because I know it's late. Some of you have stayed up all night to watch this one. Where, what time is it where you are? 
What time? Oh, it's it's 1 p.m. where I am. 10.30 p.m. Okay, 10.30 p.m. What's that, New York? 7.30? Probably in Vegas. 2.30 a.m.? Is that England? No. Maybe. Um, 10.30 a.m., 10.30 p.m.? Jesus. Um, 12, part, 12 hours apart. 12.30 p.m., okay. A lot of people coming from uh, west to coast. 2.30 in the UK, okay. 4.30 a.m., savage. 3.30 a.m., savage. 2.30 in the UK, savage. 8.30 p.m., less savage. 8 a.m., nice. 10.30 p.m. from Atlanta. 2.30 a.m., nice. 3.30 in France. 3.30 in Hungary. Malaysia, it's 10.30 a.m., Nice. 3.30 in Italy. Savage. 1.30. 8 a.m. 8.30 p.m. in Colorado. 2.30 in Serbia. Love that. Savage. All right. Nadi hits another winner. 15 love. Jesus. This kid won't stop. 15 love. Who the hell is this guy? 15 love. As we just serve out wide default. Second serve. Second serve. There's a double fault. Check myself in there. 15 all. Zachary wins, by the way. 6 3, 6 4. Simple, simple. Um, yeah, look, Zachary loves playing in Indy Wells. She made the semis last year. The coach is working. That's a good win. 15 old. Is that the first time she's won two matches in a row this year? Drop shot from Nardi is wide. Ooh. Ooh. Just pushed it wide. 30. 15 30. 15 30. There's Nardi serves. Into the forehand of Jokovic. Forehand from Nardi. Inside out is a winner. 30 all. Great shot. Without counting the 90 Cup, yes. Oh, she, okay. So she's won back to back matches. She won back to back matches at the United Cup. Fair enough. 9 30 in Cancun. Nice. All right, 30 all. Serve out wide from Nardi is a fault. Second serve. Second serve, and it's double fault. Oh, God, no. Not there. like this. All right, break point, Djokovic again, 30 40. 40 30 40. 30 40 to take. The break again, Djokovic, in the second set. 30 40. As Nadi serves. Out wide, the back end of Djokovic. Back, forward from Nardi, down the line. Great shot, Djokovic with the pass. Nardi with the volley. Hit the net. No lay breaks. Again, 4-2. Four 4-2. Two. Four two. In the second. Nardi takes. Nardi gets uh, broken again. All right, 4-2. All right. Four two. Djokovic with the serve again. Blinkova hits fourteen double faults. Gross. Okay. Four two. Serve out wide the forehand of Nadi. Return goes to the four to Djokovic. Nadi can't get that one. Fifteen love. Fifteen love. Djokovic too good. Winner of this place, Tommy Paul in the next round, by the way. As Djokovic serves again. Is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. 
Into the forehand of Nardi. Forehand from Djokovic. The backhand of Nardi. Sliced. Into the forehand of Djokovic. As Nardi hits a backhand slice again. Djokovic backhand to backhand with Nardi. As Djokovic's forehand goes inside out for a winner. 30 love. Great shot. Again from Nole. 30 love. Game is over. 6-3, 6-3. Okay. Well, we'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. One hour and 20 minutes played. And Djokovic serves out wide. The forehand of Nardi. Return goes to the forehand of Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Into the backhand of Djokovic. Again, the backhand of Nardi. As Djokovic hits a forehand cross court. Nardi. Hits it wide. 40 love. 40 love. Nardi's won, Djokovic has won 10 of the last 12 points. By the way. 40 love. As we return now, and Djokovic lets it go long. And Nardi is going to have to serve to stay in it now. 5 2 Djokovic in the second. Order being restored. Zachary. Yes, yeah, Zachary won. There are no dream draws. It is simple computer. Generated, yes. Hey, thank you, Brent, for the five gifted. Appreciate that. Thank you, Brent. Legend. Who got them? Who got them? Bio, Felix, Rodrigo, Truth, and Jerome. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you, Brent, for the five gifted. Okay. Nardi. It's going to serve to say in the set now. Not me. That's a shame. All right. Tommy Paul is either the lucky, the luck one to play against 129 or the unlucky one to play against Djokovic. Yeah, true. We'll find that out over the next couple of, uh, next hour or so. Um, that's my Benny Biceps Dono. <laughs> Well, he won. He bloody won. I told you he'd win. I told everybody that Ben would win. I said, look, Sheldon, he's got no problem. He's going to beat Sarundalo. Place in it. Don't worry about it. And what happened? Exactly what I said come to pass. Just like I said, Pavlyuchenko will win in three. And look, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I also toot my own horn. That sounded weird. Don't clip that. That's weird. All right, 5-2 Djokovic with the lead in the second. Benny Biceps tomorrow. We're going to be watching him tomorrow against Sinner. This time tomorrow. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. That's it. My crystal ball has all the answers. We've got a forehand to forehand rally. Djokovic again. The forehand of Nardi. Nardi in the net. Love 15. Tail cam picks and you will never fail. I mean, I've never heard that before from the chat, but yeah. And then I'll take it. Love 15. we have got a seventh form to Djokovic. Return goes long. 15 all. Nardi has to hold. He's got to hold now. Shoe us the match. Uh, he's wearing ASIC shoes. Djokovic is. They're green. 15 all. As so we serve down to the back of Djokovic, return the form of. Nardi as Djokovic hits the backhand wide. 30 15. 30 15. As Nardi hold, tries to hold. 30 15. There's a fault. Second serve. 30 15. Into the backhand of Djokovic. Return goes in the front of Nardi. Djokovic is the back end on the stretch. Nardi goes straight to Djokovic, but he hits a volley and puts a long. Ooh. Nardi had a shot that was just lost. It, just, it must have just gone. Oh, it just went wide. Oh, man. He cut it too fine. 30 0. That was such a shame. It was definitely going to be a great volley had it gone in. 30 0. Chance. Chance for uh, Djokovic to break here and win the set. Serve it wide. The forehand of Djokovic. Return goes to back on a Nardi. Nole sliced. 
Goes in. Nardi. Forehand. In the net. He could have hit that one in two. He should have hit that one in two. Set point. Djokovic. 30-40. To take us to a third. To take us to the third. 30-40. Thirty forty. As we get a fault from Nardi, second serve. Second serve to the front of Djokovic, backhand of Nardi on the stretch. Djokovic backhand again to the backhand of Nardi, into the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi forehand is good. Djokovic gets it, but hits it long just, and it's Deuce. What's going on, Peaches? Are you doing? We get to Deuce. As Nardi serves. It's a fault from Nardi. Second serve. Second serve. Double fault. Yuck. Gross. Okay. Advantage Djokovic. Advantage, Djokovic. To take the set. Take us to a third. Serve Nardi. Into the front of Djokovic. Turn goes to the backhand of Nardi. Djokovic backhand. To the backhand slice of Nardi. Again to the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi hits the backhand slice again. Djokovic forehand. Into the front of Nardi. And Djokovic goes to forehand again to the front of Nardi. To the fort of Djokovic. Part of me has been a four and a four and rally. Nardi picks up the pace. Djokovic can't handle it. And he hits it out. Back to Deuce. Too good from Nardi. Too much power. Back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. One hour and 30 minutes played, by the way. Back to Deuce. Nardi serves. A fold again. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Djokovic. Return goes into the front of Nardi. Back end of Djokovic again. Goes long. Advantage Nardi. To hold. Advantage Nardi to make Djokovic serve it out. Advantage Nardi. As he serves again. Into the front of Djokovic. Good serve. Return goes in the front of Nardi. Djokovic forehand to the backhand of Nardi. Again at the front of Djokovic. Nardi with the forehand cross court. Djokovic gets it. Again at the front of Nardi. As Djokovic gets a backhand on the stretch. Bit of a moon ball as Nardi attacks. Winner inside out. Good hold from the Italian. Djokovic is going to have to serve this out. 5 3. 5 3, Nardi. 5 3, Nardi. Okay. Nobody beats Novak. Okay. That's not true, but fair enough. <laughs> 5 3, Djokovic serving for the set. Djokovic with a serve. Down to see the backhand is a let from Djokovic. As Djokovic serves, a fault. Second serve. Second serve. It's good. To the backhand now, Djokovic. Backhand now, Nardi. Into the fauna, Djokovic. Nardi hits the fauna of the stretch, but it's in the ground. 15 love. Now, good for Nardi if he can serve first in the third. That would be good for him. Because in this set, he's had to have been chasing Djokovic the whole time. 
15 love. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We have so much more tennis to go. We're only in the third round. Tomorrow, fourth round, and then all the really serious stuff. As Nadi hits it out, 30 love. Winner of this takes on Tommy Paul, and you know we're going to watch that in a couple of days. If uh, Djokovic plays Paul, if he doesn't, then I don't know. We'll watch um, somebody else. Serve. There's a fault. Second serve. Second serve. As the return goes out from Nardi. 40 love. Moff, yeah, we'll watch Lamont play rude. All right, 40 love. Set points, Djokovic, to take us to a third. Italian tennis is just like Czech tennis. They've got too many players that are good. Here we go. So did it hit from Djokovic is an ace. No, it's not. It's a fault. I lied. Second serve. Second serve. Out wide at the back of the Nardi. Drop shot return. Djokovic gets it, puts it away. We're going three, baby. For the second Djokovic match in a row, we're going three. Hour and 30 minutes played. Djokovic wins the second. We are going to a third. All right. I want to watch the Tommy match regardless. Well, good luck with that. You can watch it. You can do whatever you want. It's your life. You can live it. I uh, don't even think Nardi was better in that set. Nardi just fell off. Djokovic got better. He, he stopped the errors. I mean, nine only nine errors. Nardi hit a lot of errors. Four double faults as well. But Djokovic, seven errors. Uh, seven winners, nine errors. So not great, but it wasn't as bad as the first set. Djokovic got better. Nardi got worse. But Nadi's serving first and the third, so that could help. Or maybe it won't. I, don't, I mean, we'll find out. Cam Medios quarter. I'm going to go Medvedev in straights. Um, close, I think tie break, but straights. Medvedev in straights. Uh, Tommy versus Umber. That's already happened. And uh, Tommy beat Umber, which is kind of cool. Cool to see Tommy Paul again being underestimated by most of us and winning. So whenever Tommy Paul is most underestimated, he wins, right? The guy who's playing really well, <laughs> he beats him. Quarter won their la the last five sets against Medi, though. Yeah, well, I'm going to go the upset because I can. I feel like it. Well, let me just think. Hang on one second. <laughs> Wait, actually, no. Hang on. Wait, hang on. Actually, yes. Medvedev in straights. Close straight sets. Tie breaks. Two tie breaks, maybe. But I'm going to Medi. Because I think Medi's only lost a quarter recently on faster courts, right? He hasn't lost to him on slow courts. So I think Medvedev with this slower court is probably going to get the win. Quarter's, quarter's game is probably not going to be as... Uh, not be as effective. At least that's what I'm predicting uh you think navarro can go over in games or under what's the over and under what's the uh what's the line what's the spread what's the deal all right nadi serving first the final set let's see what's up can he keep this going he serves a fault second serve 21 and a half Double fault, Nardi. Um, Navarro's coming off a real tough match, though, isn't she? So is Svetolina, to be fair. So I'll go... Over? Are we going over? Over's better, right? Over's more fun. What, 6 4 7 5? Or tie break? I mean, we could probably go... That's probably going to go 3, right, that match? As we're to four now from Nardi. Love 15. Djokovic goes again in the net, though. It's 15 all. Um, I'll go over. There's more fun. To bet the over. 15 all. Six double fault, yeah. Alright, 15 all. Nardi has to hold. 
has to hold. So, into the back of Djokovic. Forehand from Nardi. Into the forehand of Djokovic. It's Nardi. It's a forehand down the line. Djokovic backhand. Into the forehand of Nardi. Into the backhand slice. Djokovic. Nardi with a swinging volley. As Djokovic slices it to the backhand slice of Nardi. Back into Djokovic. Again to the backhand of Nardi. We're back in the rally. Forehand from Nardi. Uh, sorry, Djokovic with a forehand goes long. Is somebody in the crowd make a noise? 30 15. Djokovic is looking up in the, in the crowd. I think someone in the crowd might have made some noise. Put Djokovic off. 30 15. Crowd's getting told off. 30 15. Wowza. With Carlos bursting onto the scene two years ago, I think it's going to be more common to see the young up and comers with a more diverse and aggressive style. It's going to be Boy, developed into their game early. Thank you, uh, Wowza, for the two dollars. Did that come in? I thought we did. You write, did you ever write that? Thank you again for the two. All right, uh, Nadi with an ace, four to fifteen. Serve out wide the back at four to Djokovic. Djokovic hits a winner return. Of course he does. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Hasn't done that Unbelievable. all day. He finally does it. 40-30. 40-30. As Nardi still looks to get the first game of the second. Of the third, sorry. He's been back and return. Djokovic to the forehand of Nardi. Djokovic forehand on the stretch. Nardi. Cross court again. Djokovic gets it. Into the forehand of Nardi. As Djokovic hits a forehand on the stretch. Nardi comes in with a smash. No, it's a swing volley. And it's a winner. One love Nardi, final set. Little shake of the fist as well. Goat, 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 goat. Greatest of all time. Spelled goat. Cambodia. Cambodia, Cambodia. Thank you, Cambodia, for the 20. Bloody hell. All right, one love Nardi. Final set. What's going on, DJ? Doing? Been on my on a training session all morning. Just on my lunch break now. What's happening? Djokovic is losing. <sighs> yeah, Djokovic is playing terrible. That's what's happening. And uh, Nadi is a lucky loser because um, Echeverry pulled out, and that's where we're at. It's been a pretty weird time. One love. As Djokovic serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Now wide the forehand of Nardi. Return goes to the forehand of Djokovic. Who hits it long and it's love 15. Love 15. Djokovic is not playing like himself. At all. Love 15. That is with a serve in the net from Norlay. Second serve. Love 15. As he serves out wide, the back end of Nardi. Return the back end of Djokovic as Nardi hits a forehand cross court. Into the forehand of Djokovic. Nardi on the stretch. Again to the forehand of Djokovic. Nardi again with the forehand on the stretch. Into the forehand of Djokovic as Nardi hits the forehand in the line for a winner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Love 30. Nardi is not afraid. Love 30. To get the break early here. Love 30. Djokovic needs serves. Love 30. As he serves, Nole. Into the back of the Nardi. Return is shanked wide. 15-30. There's a serve. There's a serve. 15-30. As we get another serve. 15-30. Djokovic serves again. 
Now wide, the backhand of Nardi. Return goes to Fauna Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Down the line, Djokovic with the forehand on the stretch. As Nardi goes again to the forehand of Djokovic. Into the backhand of Nardi. Sliced to the forehand of Djokovic. Again, the backhand of Nardi. As Djokovic's backhand is good to the backhand of Nardi. He goes down the line for a winner. Wow. This kid is not afraid. These bloody kids. Bloody kids, get off my lawn. 15-40. Nardi to get the break in the third. What the hell is going on? Did somebody tell Nardi that he's playing Novak Djokovic? Like, what the hell? He's not playing. Is he playing Nole? What the hell? 15-40. Nardi to break. First games of the third. Djokovic serves. Out wide. Nardi returns with a slice, but it goes long. One saved. 30-40. One saved. Thirty forty. As Djokovic serves again. Serve it wide. Nadi returns. Djokovic volleys. Nadi's gonna get it. Nadi's gonna get it. Nadi's gonna put it in the net. This is gonna be on tennis TV, bro. Deuce. Djokovic is serving volleys. It worked just. Deuce. <laughs> it just worked. Just worked. <laughs> Bloody hell. Djokovic has got to be worried about that drop shot. He was like, hang on a second. Hang on. Better make it good. And get the deuce. As Djokovic serves. Down the tee. Unreturnable. Advantage Djokovic. Advantage Djokovic to take the game and hold. And level up the final set here. Advantage Djokovic. Serving the fauna Nardi. Return goes into the fauna Djokovic. Nardi backhand on the stretch is good. Djokovic goes cross court. Nardi running side to side. Djokovic controlling the rallies. Back in a backhand slice now. In from Nardi to the point of Djokovic, he sprays it wide as he attempts to go for a winner down the line. And it's back to Deuce. Bloody hell. Nardi is giving Djokovic all kinds of problems. I just woke up. Why did he lose the first set? Because he's playing like trash. But also because Nardi is playing some good tennis. I wouldn't say he's playing ridiculous, but he's playing very, very solid. In that first set especially. Stevens doesn't even break a sweat playing against Dasher. Joke's on you, Dasher won. Get stuffed. First serve's a fault. Second serve. Joke's on you, Dasher won. You, were, you weren't here. You wouldn't know. Back and return now from Nardi into the back of Djokovic. Back into Nardi again, the back of Djokovic. Into the fauna Nardi. As Djokovic, backhand. Goes again to the back of Nardi. Into the point of Djokovic. Nardi hits a baseline. Four into forehand as Djokovic does some running. Nardi, drop shot. Djokovic gets it with a drop shot back. Nardi, forehand, lob. That's a good shot. That's such a good shot. That's a good pickup by Djokovic. It goes out though. Great lob by Nardi. Djokovic's shot, by the way, was just out. And it's advantage Nardi. Wow. Advantage Nardi. She did win. Yeah, you should you you better apologize. You apologize for your terrible dasher take. Come in here talking shit. Alright. By the way, Nardi's won 15 of the over nine shot rallies. That's insane. 15 out of 20. That's 75%. Quick maths. Advantage Nardi, third break point of the game, to take the break in the final set here. Djokovic serves. Into the backhand of Nardi. Return to the forehand of Djokovic. Nardi, forehand. Into the forehand of Djokovic. Nardi with a backhand. Cross court. Djokovic gets it with the backhand. Into the backhand of Nardi. Again to the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. In the net. And we're back to Deuce. Nardi gets really annoyed that he missed that one. Now don't apologize to me. You apologize to Dasha. All right, back to Deuce. 
Bloody hell. What are we watching, chat? What is this? Back to Deuce. As Djokovic serves, seven and a half minute game. I mean, here we go again. Marathons on marathons. As we're served in the tee, too good. Advantage. Advantage. Djokovic. Advantage Djokovic. To level this final set at 1-1. The question will be, how long can Nardi go for? That's the question. Because he is going to be feeling it. He is a lucky loser. He did play qualies, even though he lost. First serve's a fault. Second serve. Into the back of Nardi. Return goes to the back of Djokovic. Nardi, forehand. Into the forehand of Djokovic. As Nardi hits the backhand cross court. Djokovic gets it on the stretch. As Nardi puts it down the middle. Djokovic is there with a forehand. Into the forehand of Nardi. They're hitting the ball hard. Djokovic goes in the line with a slow ball. To the back of Nardi. Back in the backhand. As Djokovic again to the back of Nardi. Drop shot and all. Hey, in the net. And we're back to Deuce. Huge game. Nardi's, it feels like Nardi's kind of got to get this. Like, this is the chance, right? This is it. Get you gotta take this chance. Eight nine minute game. Nine minute game. Deuce. Again. Djokovic serves. Down the tee. Nardi returns with the backhand, but it's wide. Van is Djokovic. These new guys aren't scared of Djokovic. They're eager to play him and tear this and, tr and, and try their skills against him. Yeah. Yeah, these, these young guys are not scared. Which is so refreshing. Advantage Djokovic. Medi breaks. There you go. Back up return now. The backhand of Djokovic. Backhand down from Nardi. Into the backhand of Djokovic. As Nardi hits the backhand again down the line to the front of Djokovic. Into the backhand of Nardi. To the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi cross court again with the backhand. Into the Nolay backhand. Nardi goes down the line. Djokovic there with his forehand. Into the backhand of Nardi on the stretch. As Djokovic hits a slice. Nardi. Again with the backhand to the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi in control. Forehand winner. It is good from Nardi. We're back to Deuce. Bloody hell, Nardi. We're back to Deuce. Nardi's just not... He's just making Djokovic hit short shots. And then smacking the crack out, crap out of it. All right, Deuce. Again. By the way, Medi does break 2-1 first set. Yeah, it is unrelenting. Nardi is super annoying. So the serve down the tee from Djokovic, a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve. Into the forehand of Nardi. Return goes to the forehand of Djokovic. Nardi, forehand, down the line. As Djokovic hits the backhand cross court, Nardi's there. Goes down to the forehand of Djokovic. Again, the backhand of Nardi. As Djokovic hits the backhand... Again, to the backhand of Nardi. Just going cross-court with these backhands. They're starting to pick up the pace, though. Djokovic goes down the line now. Nardi doing running. There's a bit of forehand now from Djokovic down the line. Nardi on the attack. Hits it wide. That's a shame. Nardi played a good point. He was, a, he was defensive, and then he had the chance, but he missed it. And Djokovic shakes his head. Advantage Djokovic. Nole's shaking his head like, okay. He's like, this kid just can't give up. Just go away, you annoying little child. Advantage, Djokovic. Advantage, Djokovic. To, just to level. <laughs> this isn't even to do anything. Just to level at 1-1. It's not like four, five all or anything. It's literally just leveling at 1-1. Djokovic is getting a time violation here. No, he's not. Just serves in time, but it's a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Second 
Second serve. Into the foreign Nardi. Great return! But it was out. And Djokovic holds. He shakes his fist. He finally holds after like 10 minutes. Holy shit. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> finally he holds. 12 and a half minutes. That's the second marathon he's had to play in this game. Or in this set. In 12 and a half minutes to just hold serve. I mean, that's brutal. That's so brutal. 1-1. One, one. Back to Nardi. Back to Nardi's serve. He says, and see the back of Djokovic. Return goes in the back of Nardi. Djokovic forehand. Down the line again. Nardi gets with the backhand. It's Djokovic's backhand. Goes again to the back of Nardi. Into the back of Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Again, to the back of Djokovic. Into the back of Nardi. As Djokovic is the backhand down the line. Nardi's there. With a forehand cross court. Djokovic goes down the line again. Nardi with a slice in the net. Djokovic picking up the pace. This is getting serious now, Love 15. Love 15. Nardi serves again. Nardi with a serve. Out wide, Djokovic returns into the foreign Nardi who smacks it to the lob of Djokovic. Nardi smash. It's good. Djokovic gets it. Nardi volleys. Too good. These kids can volley. They're all over the net. They know how to hit drop volley winners all over the place. It's like their favorite shot. Alcaraz, Runa, Nardi, Sinner sometimes. They love drop volleys. <laughs> they all, they learn from Federer. Medi's up 3-1, by the way. Nardi has won 10 out of the 17 points at net. Djokovic has been there 12 times, won 7. These kids love the net. As with a backhand return now goes into the backhand of Nardi. Backhand of Djokovic on the stretch with a slice. Hit the tape, goes in. Nardi, backhand, down the line, winner. And they love going down the line with their shots. They don't just play boring cross courts. They don't just play conservative, safe tennis. They play so aggressive. 30-15. His seventh winner of the set already, Nardi. 7-1. to one. In the final set, Nardi with the winners already. 7-1. to one. Ridiculous. As we return out, Djokovic, Nardi with a drop shot. Djokovic gets it. Nardi volleys, puts it away. I mean, this is silly. He's making Djokovic look like a chump. 40-15. I mean, you don't drop shot Djokovic and then pass him with a volley. It's crazy. 40-15. This is Alcaraz versus Djokovic back in Madrid two years ago. It's silly. 40-15. Nardi to stay in front. 45th. As he serves again, Nardi. An ace. Wow. 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 2-1. 2-1. Holy hell. Okay. Nardi leads. 2-1 in the second. Oh, sorry, in the third. Mevita, by the way, he's up 3-1 already with a break against Korda. How are we doing, chat? Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? I have clothes that are older than Nardi. You have 22-year-old clothes? Crazy. Um, loving this match. Yeah, it's wild. I mean, I love that the Nardi fearlessness, but that's just everybody's uh, fearless against uh, these young guys are just fearless. They do not care who you are. Nardi stays on serve. They are equal in the set. Yes. Nardi leads 2 1 on serve. Nardi's a lucky loser, lost to Goffan in the sem in the quarters, yeah. And Goffan lost to Murray first round, so that could have been Nardi had he beaten Goffan. And this could have been Goffan had he... Maybe not, but it could have been. It could have been. Man, you better shut your fuck up, okay? And then you hit left and you don't say sorry, you think you're a good kid? And don't have to stop and you kept doing like this to the team. It's a bullshit Russian, you think this is normal? Blue painting. Ten dollars from blue painting. Thank you, blue painting, for the ten dollars. Appreciate that. 
I don't know what the super chats are doing. Some are working, some are not. It depends on the day. Yeah, no scar tissue as well. That's true. That's a big one. By the way, what the hell? People, have, so there's a guy wearing a baby, a mask with Djokovic's face on it, but as a baby. I mean, that's definitely not creepy. <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? Me and the missus are going to go to the tennis. We're going to dress up as Djokovic. I'm going to dress up as a baby. Baby Nole, and he, she's going to dress up as regular Nole. And uh, we're going to go. It's a cute couple's costume. I mean, is it really, though? I don't think it is. It would have been better if she went as, uh, you know, Mrs. Djokovic. Medvedev, by the way, 4-1. In the uh, first set, he's double break up against quarter. All right, 2-1. Nardi leads, but it's on serve. Yeah, yikes. Yeah, that, that mask was not it. I don't know what you were thinking when you woke up this morning and did that. You made that. He made that with his own hands, chat. Like, he printed a baby photo of Djokovic and made it into a mask. Like, he's wearing Djokovic... Like, he is wearing a mask of Djokovic as, as a baby. Like, that... I mean, he thought of that, and he made that. Like, he had... Like, the intrusive thoughts won. He woke up and chose creepy today. Love 15, not here to win him. Unbelievable. He woke up and thought, that's a good idea. And his wife said, yes, that is a great idea, honey. What's wrong with her as well? They're both... They're, who? She let him do it. That's crazy. Anyways, love 15. <laughs> love 15. She's like, sure, I'll go as older Djokovic. No, it's, just stay at home, people. Wear the shirts and just don't do it. It's creepy. Love 15. <laughs> it's too much. Love 15. Serving the forehand of Nardi. Return goes to Fonda Djokovic. Nardi backhand. Into the form of Djokovic. Something happened. Everything shit itself. What happened? Nothing. Love 15. By the way, Medi, as I said, up 4-1 with a double break at the moment. Become a member. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you, Observing, for becoming a member. Appreciate that. As Djokovic hold, uh, gets to get a point, sorry, and it's 15 all. Um... 15 old. It's my turn to be here. Yeah, why would you why would you think going as a, a Djokovic as a baby is a good idea? What did what were you thinking? I don't know. The guy took the mask off straight away. It's like, don't show your real face. Now we all know who did it. <laughs> You've exposed yourself now. 15 old. He should have kept the mask on and nobody would know. Alright. 15 old. As we get a forehand now, sorry, backhand now return from Nardi. Slice goes into the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi with the backhand slice again as Djokovic. It's a forehand down the line. Nardi gets up in the stretch, but it's in the net. 30-15. 30-15. No, they weren't kicked out. They paid to be there. It just, was, it just a, was a questionable choice. I don't think it was a, it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't an ejectable offense. It was just a very strange decision. <laughs> Can we all know you miss Roger Federer? How'd you know? 30-15. Is it because I cry to myself to sleep every night? How do you know? Backhand to backhand rally. Djokovic again in the backhand of Nardi. And Djokovic hits the backhand again to the backhand of Nardi. Into the backhand of Djokovic. As Nardi gets another free point. 30 0 30 0 As Djokovic... Serves again. He needs to be clutch. And he is that. We know he is that. 30 all. Djokovic serves. Into the Fauna Nardi. Return is shanked. 40-30. Goes out by a mile from Nardi. 40-30. Thanks for joining us, by the way, everybody. Don't forget to sub if you haven't already. 40-30. Djokovic to level up. Two hours played. 40-30. Serve it wide. The backhand of Nardi is a fault. Second serve. Djokovic is finished. You're finished. As we serve now the backhand of Nardi. Nardi in the net. 2-2. Two -two. 2-0 in the second. 
in the third, even. Djokovic's coaches are all giving him instruction. He's like, I don't know. Maybe. All right. Back to Nardi. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Cam, how do you know what baby Nole baby looks like? Maybe it's a random baby. No, because we've all seen that footage of Djokovic as a kid. When he gets interviewed. Remember that? Everyone's seen that footage. As Nardi, it's a backhand winner. Like, you know the footage of him, like... Playing as a four-year-old, and then there's footage of him, like, getting interviewed. It was one of those images. That's how I know. And plus, it looks... If you know, if you've seen a photo, you'll be like, that's obviously him. Nardi, by the way, has lost two points on his first serve in this final set. That's insane. Serve at 15 love. Return goes in the four to Nardi. Backhand of Djokovic on the stretch. Nardi, forehand. Again to the backhand of Djokovic. Into the backhand of Nardi. And then Djokovic hits the backhand again to the backhand of Nardi. Slice goes into the backhand of Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Down the line of the four to Djokovic. Into the forehand of Nardi. Djokovic hits a slice on the stretch. It's a drop shot. Nardi gets it with a slice forehand. As he comes in there again, Nardi with a half volley drop shot. Djokovic gets it. Oh, what a shot. Nardi with a slice. Winner, though. And oh, Nole says what happened. It was called out. 30 love. I don't know if, the, if it was the Hawkeye. Wait, hang on. What happened? Yeah, it was out by Hawkeye. I think Djokovic thought the crowd set out. It was not the crowd. It was Hawkeye that set out. Djokovic was like, how did that go out? Well, Hawkeye said so. Yeah, it was wide. 30 love. It was just a late call. But Djokovic, I think, thought the crowd set out. So he's like, is that a hindrance? But no. 30 love. It was wide. Hawkeye, Hawkeye sounds like the crowd. 30 love. Nardi. Just out, out uh, trickering Djokovic. That's not a word. 30 love. And a fault from Nardi out wide. Second serve. No, Nardi doesn't serve. Changed his mind. He serves now down the tee. The back end of Djokovic returned the bottom of the net. That's a terrible return. By the greatest returner of all time. 40 love. Forty love. As we serve down to see the four Jokic, great return. Nardi gets it with a slice. Jokic forehand. Inside out. Nardi puts up a lob. And Jokovic hits a smash. Off the tape. And Nardi just kind of goes, what the hell? 40-15. And Djokovic does not apologize. Nadi was like, really? You hit the <laughs> you hit the tape and you okay. 40 15. Nadi serves again. This is an extra exhibition match. Joker is practicing. You keep telling yourself that. Back in the back end rally. As Djokovic hits the back end into the back end of Nadi. Four and a half Djokovic. Again to the front of Nardi. That's a good shot. Djokovic gets on the stretch. Nardi, backhand, open court. Djokovic is there with a slice. Nardi comes to the net with a slice, backhand. Djokovic lob. Nardi puts away the smash. 3-2. And what happens? If Djokovic loses, you're going to be like, oh, he doesn't need to win Indian Wells. He's already won enough. He only plays slams. That's all. You know, what are you going to say next? Come on. You're discrediting the guy who's playing well. All right. 3-2 Nardi. He holds. He leads. By the way, quarter breaks one back. That's 4-2 Medvedev in that match. All right. What's up, chat? Answer my question. The question, jerk. How we doing? Luca is out playing Nole by far. Yeah, but also, Nole's not playing well. Like, you know, it's not like Djokovic is playing godlike and Nadi's playing better. Djokovic is definitely not playing his best, but Nadi is beating him anyway. And if he wins, it's a win. Doesn't matter how he won, he wins. Especially in three, that's insane. That would be crazy. Nardi not good? This is just one of those matches. Well, Nardi's playing good enough. Well, why is he winning? <laughs> Nardi's not that good. What, so Djokovic is really bad? I don't get it. Really enjoying this great match? It sure is. It's a great match. 
Spiritini playing a challenger in Phoenix. I think he is, yeah. What's up, Pokey? How you doing? I'm going to have a heart attack. Please don't. That's scary. Cam, top 10 ranked players are afraid of Nole, but new players who haven't played Nole ever feel like they can best him. I agree, yeah. There's no scar tissue. We talked about them earlier. I mean, there's nothing to fear when you haven't played them. You just go out there and do whatever you want and hope for the best. Where you played him 10 times and lost, then you're going to feel shitty. Aren't you? You're not going to feel good if you've lost uh, to him 10 times in a row or 20, nine, maybe 19 times in a row. Shout out to Gail Morphis. Okay. Back to Djokovic. 3-2 Nardi. In the final set, we're on serve. Serve into the back of Nardi. Back into Djokovic. Down the line in the front of Nardi on the stretch. Djokovic, forehand, goes into the back of Nardi. Again to the front of Djokovic. Cross court to the front of Nardi. Djokovic, forehand. Again to the front of Nardi. Nardi smacks it down the line. Love 15. And Djokovic gives him a round of applause. Wow. Smacked it down the line. Love 15. On the stretch. I mean, that was a hell of a shot. Love 15. Huge. Djokovic serves again. Out wide to the back of the Nardi. Return to the back of the Djokovic. Nardi, backhand. Into the back of the Djokovic. Who hits it long. Nardi's hitting the baseline and Djokovic doesn't like it. Love 30. Love 30. Medvedev breaks again. He's up 5-2. Love 30. Nardi forgot to read the script. Whatever the hell is happening, he didn't read the script. Love 30. Djokovic serves. A fault. Second serve. Your prediction, please. For what? For this match? I said Djokovic. <laughs> Like all the, like ninety percent of the chat. Serve out wide the fourteen ninety, but it's a let. Ooh, lucky ninety hit a winner. That was a let. Serve again. Djokovic serves again. Down the tee, the back of the Nardi. Return goes in the fourteen. Djokovic Nardi forehand into the fourteen. Djokovic again the fourteen. Nardi goes down the line. Djokovic backhand to the fourteen of Nardi again to the fourteen. Djokovic is Djokovic in the net. Love 40. Love 40. Nardi to get the break. Nardi to break. Love 40. Final set. Nardi to get the break. Djokovic serves. An ace. Or an unreturnable. Same thing. He won the point. 15-40. Uh, One saved. 15-40. Serve again. Fifteen forty. Serve down here. This time is a fault. Second serve. Nardi's had so many break points. So 11 break points for the match. Second serve. Out wide. Nardi returns. Djokovic gets it with a forehand down the line. As Nardi goes down the line again with a backhand. Djokovic in the net. Upset of the year is on the cards. It's 4-2 Nardi in the third. Upset of the year. It's on the cards. It's it's two games away. The upset of the year. Chat. Nardi's got to hold his nerve, but... 4-2 Nardi final set. A lucky loser. This could be the... I mean, look, Djokovic has lost to lucky losers before. In fact, he lost to Sinego as a lucky loser back in 2022, I think. 
But this would be something else. This could be one of Djokovic's worst upsets. Isterman at the Australian Open still tops it, but this could be in top five. Serve out wide, the forehand is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Double fault. He knows. <laughs> Not he knows. Love 15. So Djokovic's worst upset, as in like worst ranked opponent, the lowest ranked opponent on the ATP was back. Uh, where was it? Yeah, he lost in 20, 2006 to a qualifier who was 178 in the world. But that doesn't count. Troitsky beat him in 2007 as a quality at 176 and Delpo in the Olympics but I mean that I mean Delpo at 141 that wasn't accurate Klizan beat him in in 2018 on the clay anyways love 30 we're getting ahead of it we're not done yet love 30 served in season ace all right 15-30 Medvedev gets broken again. That match looks very ugly. Medvedev, there's like four breaks in a row in the Medvedev quarter match. What's going on? 15-30. As Nardi serves a fault. Second serve. Into the back end of Djokovic. Four now from Nardi. To the back end of Djokovic who hits it long. 30 all. Nardi six points away. From the biggest win and the biggest upset of the year. A lucky loser taking out the world number one at Indian Wells. That's huge. 30 all. Nardi with a serve. Is a fault. That serve was over the baseline. <laughs> Challenge. Second serve. Into the back end of Djokovic, returning the net. Good second serve, bit of a kick. Kind of kicked away from Djokovic, 40-30. This will be the second time Djokovic has lost to a lucky loser, yeah. First time he lost to a lucky loser was back in Vienna against Sinego. I think it was 22 or 2021, end of the year. And he just got the world number one ranking wrapped up, so it was kind of like, it felt like he didn't care. But this would be... Insane as Nadia gets a 5 2 with a great serve. This is insane. At Indian Wells, this is a huge stage, chat. This is massive. And Nadia wasn't even supposed to be here. He lost in the qualies. And then he came out and he took us, he took at your very spot. And now, Novak Djokovic is serving to stay in the match. What? Ripped everyone who, woke, who stayed up late. I'm sorry. This is not how you wanted things to go. All right, chat. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at 500 likes as well. Thank you for that. What a night. What a day. What a... What the hell? What the hell? Naughty. The man who got a second chance is one game away from cashing in on that second chance big time. ND odds are plus 330, okay? Fair enough. Is Nolay looking off? Yeah, look. Nardi's been aggressive. He's been solid. Like, really, really, really good for what he is. Like, this is the best match he's ever played, I guess. I'm, I'm, I know it would be. But Djokovic hasn't looked this, like himself. No excuse. Nardi's been great. Djokovic has looked a little off, whatever reason. But Nardi's taking advantage of that. Maybe Djokovic haven't, hasn't played here for five years. He doesn't know. He doesn't remember how to play Indian Wells because remember, Indian Wells is so unique. The surface is so different to anywhere else. It's the slowest hard court. And Djokovic might have, you know, maybe he, he maybe he five years off has, has, has affected him. Doesn't remember how to play on this court properly yet. Might be too late now. 15 love. 
Djokovic serves to stay in the match. Serve. Into the back of the Nardi. Slice return is out. 30 love. 30 love. Thirty love. And Djokovic serves again. Winner of this place, Tommy Paul, who would be loving this right now as Nadi hits it in the net. He's gonna have to serve this out. Forty love, Djokovic. Forty love. Two hours and twenty played, almost twenty played. Djokovic serves again. Serving the back end of Nadi. Volley from Djokovic is good. Nadi with a pass. He's wide. 5 3. Djokovic holds. Cam can stop, ma stop making excuses for Djokovic. Stop crying. Okay. 5 3. Nadi serving for the match. I got Nadi in my team, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm. I didn't pick Djokovic. He's too expensive. Djokovic's too, too expensive. But Nardi... I picked him. Because I just needed... Uh, he was cheap. Okay. 5-3. Nardi serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve in the back end of Djokovic. Back end of Nardi. Is out. Love 15. Love 15. Medi, by the way, 5-4, serving for the set. He was cheap. He was like a he was like he was cheap. Because he was he wasn't supposed to be playing. Love 15. Serving the back end of Djokovic is a fault. Ooh. It's a good body serve. Just long second serve. Second serve in the back end of Djokovic return. Goes in the back end of Nardi. Djokovic backhand. Into the forehand of Nardi. Drop a bit of a slice. Forehand, not a drop shot. No, Djokovic in the net with a slice. 15 all. God, Nole. I, I don't know what's going on with Nole this year. He does not look good at all. 15 all. Fifteen all. Again, don't forget to subscribe. We've got so much tennis tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. With Alcaraz, with Sinner, Sviantek. As we serve out wide, the Fort of Djokovic return goes wide. 30 15. Upset of the year, chat. This is a huge upset. Insane upset. 30 15. Two points. 30 15. Serve out wide, the back end slice, Djokovic return goes in the forehand, swinging volley, and Nardi puts it away! Match points, Nardi! 40-15! Match points to beat the best player of all time! 40-15! Holy hell. I don't know what it is. Italians against Djokovic. Italy versus Nole, and Italy wins. 40-15. Nardi serves. No, he doesn't. Oh, he catches it. He changed his mind. Now he does serve. Out wide. An ace! He finishes in style. Luka Nardi beats Novak Djokovic. What do we just witness? By the way, Djokovic has given him a bit of a chat. All right, there's some words. It's all right. Everything's okay. I think Djokovic gave him a little bit of a stand. Vavrinka to Runa. It's a little, hey, just, you know, just, just relax. But Nardi's like, I'm not relaxing. Go back to the locker room, take a shower, buddy. All right. Nardi wins. What the hell did we just see, chat? What the hell? Wow. Upset of the year. Lucky loser, conquers best player. And he's acting, oh, look, look, good for Nardi. He's hugging the coaches. It's like he, he won the bloody thing. Like that's, I mean, winning, beating Djokovic is winning. Something crazy. 
Italians against Djokovic. I don't know what's up. Musetti did it last year. Sinner did it multiple times. Now Nardi. So now you guys beating him? I mean, <laughs> Berrettini? Where's he at? Fanini? Djokovic is going to go to Miami. He's got to go to Miami now. Olympics is the goal. Is the goal. Indian Wells is in the goal. Djokovic is going to sign balls anyway. Good to see. That's the champion he is. He's signing anyway. But holy hell, chat. That is one of the upsets of all time at Indian Wells. Like, that's an all-time upset. A lucky loser beating Djokovic. I mean, that's an all-time upset, chat. That is an all-time upset. If you're leaving, don't forget to sub on the way out. Holy smokes. Djokovic walks off. And we'll see him in Miami, probably. Unless he decides to ditch the clay and go, you know, or ditch the hard courts and go, you know what, I'm going to clay. I'm going to play on clay. I don't need to win Miami anyway. And Djokovic is still yet to win a title this year. We're into the third month of the year and he's still un no titles. Zero titles, chat. Man, and this is, I love Indian Wells. Oh, I would too. I look, Luca Nardi, I would too. If I just beat the best player of all time, I would love it too. Holy crap. Look, Djokovic didn't play well. 31 errors, only 18 winners. Nardi, 36 winners and 41 errors, but he was super aggressive and that. He took that from Djokovic. No nerves, fearless, just like all the other young guys coming through. The Alcaraz and, you know, Runas of the world. Nardi's in the group. Three hours ago, no idea who he was. 20-year-old Italian. That's not named Sinner. And now, it's Fr Luca freaking Nardi. That's who he is. That's who this guy is. He made he just made himself a massive name. Luca freaking Nardi, chat. Remember that. Italy, I mean, you didn't need more players, but you got one. You've got another one. Bloody hell. <laughs> now it's Nardi versus Paul. Rude versus Monfils. I mean, what are we doing? Who's making the semis? Monfils, Rude, Paul, Nardi. Someone's making a semi. Somebody tell Medi. I mean, Medvedev's going, shit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the final now. Holy hell. Runa, Medvedev, Korda, Dimitrov, Fritz. One of, them's making, uh, one of them's making the semis against the guys I just said. Holy hell. Rude's best chance to win. Wake up. I mean, Rude and Runa. Semi-final, maybe. Rude Medvedev, that could be interesting. Monfils, Lamonf. <laughs> Lamonf comes through, I mean, I don't know. Holy hell, holy heck, chat. That's insane. Is Nardi coming for Sinner's crown? Uh, I just think he's adding to the Nole pain at the moment. Good year for Italians, three titles so far, yeah. Italians having a good year. Nardi's coming for Sinner's Ferrari. What's Nardi's ranking? He was 123 before the week. Um, now he's going to be like top 100, surely, right? Nardi is currently ranked number... Number 95. He's into the top 100 for the first time ever. Uh, yeah, but you got the Deary. He won a title already this year. Remember that? Sinner's won a title, of, of, of course. Uh, Kaboli... A Sinego. Anaudi's there as well. We saw him the other night play Alcaraz. We've got uh, just Musetti. I mean, there's so many Italians, chat. So many. So many. Time for Novak to retire? No. <laughs> no. It's not time for Novak to retire. <laughs> if he lost this at a slam... I mean, even then, we'd just be like, that was weird. That was really weird. But no, he doesn't need to retire. What are you talking about? It's crazy talks. Five Australian dollars from the Australian health show. L-L-O-A-T, L-L-O-A-T, L-L-O-A-T. Lucky loser of all time. He's called L-L-O-A-T. Thanks, Nardi. Great commentary for me whilst driving. Thanks, mate. All right. Thank you, Australian health show for the five. Um, all right. Thanks for the stream. No worries. If you are leaving, don't forget to sub. We're going to chill for a bit. I'm just going to sit, sit around for a bit. Just figure out what the hell just happened. 
digest that incredible upset. Insane. Uh, Dadiri too. His little uh, his little bro is a huge challenge. Yeah, he 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 won a title. Luca freaking Nardi. That's it. I told you Nardi was a vampire. Did you? Nole is lacking motivation to the Olympics. Yeah, look, look, I mean, yeah. He's got one big goal this year. That's the Olympics. And probably Wimbledon. You know, you would say Wimbledon and the Olympics are the two that he needs or that he wants. Yeah, it's weird. It's a, it, it's weird to see Djokovic like this, you know? Marijan up is an up-and-comer. Well, that's going to be fun to watch Marijan tomorrow against Alcaraz. Uh, Djokovic might be super motivated to go to Miami and beyond. Yeah, like that's the question now. It's like, does Djokovic play Miami? Does he need to play Miami? Like, uh, I I thought if Djokovic lost early, he would play Miami because it's like, well, why do you want? You don't want to go to, you know, you don't want to go to Monte Carlo after a third round loss. But if the goal is the Olympics, why play Miami? So I I think Djokovic might pull out of Miami, just because to get the extra clay. You know, get the extra points on clay. He's already got his world number one ranking fine. Like, he doesn't need to, you know, win Miami or anything to stay to stay up. You know, I would skip it. Yeah, I, I think he might skip it. Um, because the if the goal is the Olympics, Miami's not going to help. It's only going to help to get a little bit, of, little bit of confidence, maybe. But, I mean, Miami, winning Miami doesn't win you the Olympics. Not this year. Not on clay. Uh, Djokovic is 37. He's done. You can't win any everything. Man, people love to write Djokovic off. Um, Djokovic might have thrown the match on purpose. Nah, I don't think he... I don't think he threw the match. Um, Nardi played really aggressive and maybe caught Djokovic off by surprise. And Djokovic just didn't play well. He did not play well. But he keeps not playing well a lot these days. And that's not that's concerning. He keeps on throwing in these bad matches. And he usually wins them. But these young guys that aren't afraid of Djokovic, uh, they're the ones that are going after him when he's playing bad. They're like, oh shit, he's playing bad. Let's go. Whereas like back in the day, there was you know, maybe some chances for Djokovic to get through. Djokovic at Miami? I don't I don't know. Djokovic won't win the Olympics. All right. Did I write Nole off? Yeah, why would you do that? It's crazy. Um, Nadi served up dinner. Yeah. He sure did. Not too bad. Paul. Five Australian dollars from Paul Tizard. Thing we've got to remember about Djokovic is that he was chasing being the GOAT for all these years. Now he has the records. Maybe he's just lost a bit. Yeah, I mean, look, he's... And I think... Well, you, okay, what's changed, right? Let's play this game. What's changed? So Djokovic, he won 24 slams, right? Which is two more than the next guy. Right? He's got the most weeks at number one. That's not going to change. He's got more masters than anybody. Rafa saying, I'm not playing anymore? Do you reckon that... I mean... The motivation is holding back the young guys, but then again, it's like, really? Are they? You really think that Elkhorn is going to win twenty four slams? Like Sid is going to win twenty four? Oh, that's a big number. So, I mean, the Olympics is what Djokovic wants, right? It's the only thing that he really needs, because everything else is. He's got everything else, right? But then again, it's so weird to see him because we didn't think that would. I didn't think we'd see him completely lose. Like completely, like oh well, I'm I'm good. I've got everything. You know, I knew that when Raffle got had a baby, that he'd probably be thinking about hanging out with his baby instead of playing tennis. But then also his injuries. But I didn't. I'm not surprised that Rafa got. Um, Rafa's kind of happy to retire. But Djokovic, I didn't think that would be a thing. Not this year. But then again, it's not, we've got to remember, this is not at a slam. So 
Nothing matters unless it slams. Remember how he was, lost Indian? Well, uh, sorry, he lost my, uh, Monte Carlo to to uh, Musetti, and everyone's like, "Oh, he's not going to win anything." And then he lost the Ruiner in Rome, and we're like, "Oh, no, no, he's not playing. He's not going to win anything." He lost a live in in, in um, you know, he lost a live in Bosnia, and we're like, "Oh, he, you know, everyone's oh, no, 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 he's done." And then he goes to Roland Garros, wins that, almost wins Wimbledon, and then he wins the uh, wins the US. I mean, if it's not at a slam, it doesn't matter. But it does matter for Nardi. So good for him. This is the... Oh, thank you, uh, Dutchie. So th apparently this is the fourth lowest ranked player to beat a world number one in Masters 1000 history. Lowest was Clave in 2003 against Leighton Hewitt. Ouch. Kokonakis in Miami against Federer back in 2018. Pospisil against Murray in 2017 here. And then this one. So this is the lowest ranked loss that Djokovic has had at a Master 1000. Uh, he's lo the lowest ranked opponent that he's lost to as the world number one at a Master 1000. That made sense. <laughs> that made sense. Um, but yeah, like if this doesn't, if this isn't a slam, it doesn't matter. Like if Djokovic lost to the slam like this, then we got to start making questions, asking questions. But if it's not a slam, it doesn't matter. Um, Nole not done yet. Exactly. When he looks like he's lost motivation for slams, that's when we think shit. Because, he, I mean, he's lost Masters before, and we're just like, we ask these questions, but it doesn't really matter. He's got all the Masters. He doesn't need any more. He's not bothered. Serena was the same. She was not there, but she was there, but not there. Yeah, but again, I... I'm, 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 I'm still... I'm going to stay in the... If it's at a slam, then we talk about it. If it's not at a slam, as far as I'm concerned, this is a great win for Nardi, but I don't think Djokovic is going to lose much sleep over it. I don't think this is the beginning of the end. Not yet. Not yet. It's not a great it's, a, it's not a great match. It's a bad, very bad result, but it's also like... It's not the French Open. It's not Wimbledon. It's not the US. He lost to Sinner, who's on red-hot form at the Australian. That was a shock, but also... Semi-final, you know. Let's wait and see what happens at the at the slams, and then we'll f see whether or not uh, Novak is uh, in trouble. What rank was Osaka when she beat Serena and, and won the final? No idea. Twenty, 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 I think. Don't know anyone is surprised or shocked by Djokovic losing again. I mean, I, I'm shocked. But I'm also not concerned about Djokovic's career. <laughs> you know, like... Nole's main focus is slams. It always has been, right? Ever since he got the gold masters, he's like, well, I don't need those. You know, He never said it out loud, but it's like he's always been... I mean, remember how we talked about the French Open last year, right? He goes to Monte Carlo, gets injured, and then, you know, doesn't play. Doesn't play well. Then he goes to Rome and loses to Runa. And it was always, it was all the same questions. Like, Djokovic is going to, is he done? Is he done? And then he goes and wins the French. Yes, he got a little lucky against Carlos, but still, he won the whole thing. And then he got nearly won Wimbledon. He was one point away from a 2 sets of love lead, which would have probably wrapped it up. And then he won the US Open. You know, so it's like... The slams are the are the main thing. This is not a great loss. It's not. It doesn't look good. But questioning Djokovic is kind of insane at this point. God, quarter's playing like shit. Um, <laughs> sorry, Chad. He is. He's playing terrible. Medi's getting all kinds of breaks. Um, how's the postcard wall coming on? It's coming along good. I'm going to go to the P.O. box later in the week and see if there's any more. So if, you have, if your postcard's on the way, I'll go. I'll hopefully get it by the end of the week and we'll uh, read them out. Yeah, the Olympics is obviously Djokovic's priority too, right? He, need, he wants the gold medal. He doesn't have one of those, you know? So that's obviously there as well. Um, I think he's not interested in playing against the next gen. Maybe. I'm sending one next week. Awesome. 
I'd love to see it. By the way, Cord is wearing a a pink polo. I don't mind it. Would I wear it? Probably. I could wear it. I could rock that, I think. <laughs> I sent one last week from Singapore. Can't wait to arrive. Thank you, Jenny. All right. Well, hopefully it arrives uh, in the next couple of days. I can imagine the responses on Instagram that Nadi gets for this victory. Good for Nadi. Like, look, we're, we're, talking, we're talking about Djokovic is like, you know, we're, we're questioning Djokovic. We should be celebrating Nadi. I mean, he was a lucky loser. He wasn't even supposed to be here. And the fact that he was able to take it to Djokovic and Djokovic has won, I mean, Djokovic won Wimbledon 2019 by playing bad. He beat Federer that day by playing bad. He played bad today and Nardi beat him. So that's something. You got to credit Nardi for that. Because even a bad Djokovic is still Djokovic, right? You're still going to beat Novak Djokovic. And Nardi did it. He held his nerve. He held his serve. And he got the dub. Djokovic has not won a Masters... Uh, not won since the ATP Finals. Yeah, but that was only a couple of tournaments ago. So they played a couple of events. Nice kid, Nardi. Yeah, I mean, look these 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 are, these bloody Italians. They're coming through. There's so many of them, Chad. On the women's side too, Paulini is coming through on the women's side. I mean, it's a yeah, yeah man. Italy is becoming a force. Czech Republic, Italy, Russia, America. That is they're, like they're the superpowers of tennis right now. They are, they are the, they are the, I mean, Russia still, Russia and America are still the number one too, but then you've got, you know, you've got, um, I mean, Spain don't have a female player really. Um, obviously Alcaraz holds up the men's side, but then Alcaraz has no support. It's Alcaraz and nobody, right? I mean, who are, who's the second best? Maybe Fakina, right? Fakina? But, um, Italy, Czech Republic on the men's side, they're starting to get some guys. The ladies have always been there. It's it's tennis is getting interesting. The four big tennis nations. How can I send a postcard? Uh, you can send it to the PO box. There's a link in the in the chat. Um, I saw it somewhere. There you go. Um, Spain really suffering without Muguruza. Yeah, and also injured Bedosa. Right, Bedosa being injured. That that was their you know that was supposed to be their one two. Regardless of Djokovic's poor form, the Italian Tennis Federation has been at the forefront for years and works magnificently to obtain today's results. I mean, yeah, the Italian tennis, I mean, like I said, Pellini, you can chuck Trevison in there too if you want. Bronzetti. I mean, there's a lot of good Italian women too. But then men's side, I mean, you've got the young kids coming through. It's it's crazy. Nardi, Arnaldi, Sinner, Musetti. I mean, that's just the name of the young ones. You've got Sonego, you've got Berrettini still around. Even Fanini's still playing, you know? It's going to be a really, it's going to be really hard to find, get a spot for the, uh, for the Olympics for Italy. <laughs> oh yeah, Betty. <laughs> Betty as well, yeah, I forgot Betty. Uh, Djokovic instead on, uh, insisted on the kid shaking hands with the chair what? I'm confused. What do you mean? Medvedev, by the way, just gets broken again. This is a horrible match. Medvedev's hitting double faults, getting broken again. I mean, this is... Oh, this is... Medi's in a mood. <laughs> Medi's in a mood. Yep, draw opened up for my face. Sure did. It opened up for everybody. What are we watching tomorrow? So tomorrow, we've got... A massive day. We've got Shelton versus Sinner tomorrow night. Sviantek as well. We've got City Pass Lehechka. Dimonor versus Zverev is a fun one too. Marajan Alcaraz is another one. Uh, so there's a couple. Uh, other matches you've got Kostruk taking on Pavlyuchenko. You've got uh, Kerber taking on Wozniacki as well. Um, yeah. Potapova Paulini is the first match of the day. There's a lot going on. Quarter hits out. Bloody hell. They're playing sh shocking chat. Both of them are just... It's like that Osaka match that we watched before. 
They just keep missing. Thanks again for a crazy night with Djokovic out. Yeah, that was crazy. Insane. Osaka lost to Mertens, yeah. And it was a pretty, pretty shitty match to watch. It was such a bad quality match too. They couldn't serve to save himself. Medvedev's serving terribly. Yeah, they both are. All the breaks... Uh, what did Djokovic tell him at the end of the match? I don't know what he said, but it did look like there was a bit of a... It didn't look like encouragement. I don't know if Djokovic was saying something about... Like saying maybe... Like saying, you know, sorry for something. I don't know. But Djokovic definitely didn't... Uh, wasn't a pat on the back saying congratulations. It felt like a little bit more of a... Hey, buddy. <laughs> Watch out. Crazy. I mean, how? this is the biggest upset since, like, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I'm looking. Watching Yannick, oh, this is what he said. Watching Yannick win all the matches for sure pushed me to be better. I didn't expect to win today, but I always try to do my best in the practice. This happened, and I'm really happy. I oh, love that. Love that. Jokic out of the Wells. Crazy. Biggest upset, like upset of the year. But this is upset of the year. This, I mean, unless Jokic loses a slam, this is upset of the year. By a long shot. Quarter, by the way, is going to get broken again. God, dog shit. Uh, worst upset since Marijan Carlos. Yeah, that's what it is. Exactly. Worst upset since Marijan beat Carlos in Rome. That's the uh, that is the that is the last time we was this shocked. I think that was the last time. Navarro's already twenty three in the world. Not bad. Yeah, she's doing good. Just sneaking through the draw. God, I don't want to even look at me. Medvedev's no Medvedev quarter is making me sick. Like I'm, I'm, I'm nauseous. What a trash game. And we're gonna watch that if Djokovic hadn't have, you know, lost. Um, we we're gonna watch that. I'm glad we're not because I'll probably just get pissed off <laughs> and angry at it. I'll probably just get. It's just triggering, chat. It's a triggering match. I think there's been about ten breaks. That's impossible. It's probably been about six breaks. It's uh, seven breaks. It's brutal. Yeah. Mertens versus Osaka. We already watched that. Uh, and, and I don't want to watch a men's version. Med playing like uh, is like a sleeping pill. Okay. <laughs> Savage. Imagine if Carlos gets sent packing tomorrow. I mean, it's a low chance, but still in the cards. I'll tell you what would be more shocking than that. If Shelton beats Sinner. Shelton beaten Sinner, that's the upset. If that happens, that... And yeah, okay, it's not an upset. Shelton's good, we know. But it is an upset because the way Sinner's playing, nobody's been able to go near him. Besides Medvedev in the final of the Australian Open. Shelton beating Sinner would be huge. Marijan beating Alcaraz, okay, Alcaraz hasn't been good lately. Sinner's been on fire. Anyone who beats Sinner, unexpectedly, is going to be... That, that's going to be a huge shock. The only person that it wouldn't be a shock against would maybe be Alcaraz beating Sinner. You'd be like, okay. But anybody else, it would be a shock. Yuck on Shelton. Well, you're going to have to watch out tomorrow because <laughs> we're going to watch him. Sinner is the man to beat, exactly. Shelton can definitely beat Sinner. No, no, I'm saying... <laughs> don't get it wrong. I'm not saying that Shelton's going to beat Sinner. I'm just saying that would be a huge shock. If Shelton was to beat Sinner at Indian Wells, you know, because the courts and stuff. What if Nadi wins the tournament? That would be one of the greatest wins of all time. Sorry, but I have to say your predictions are wrong. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to say your comments are boring. Uh, you saw the men's version already, Cam? It's Felix. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> Felix. Now, but like both players playing bad. That's what we're. What, that's what Medi and Quarter are doing. They're just both hitting very terrible shots. Medi will win everything. 
Okay. Sarundalo almost beat Ben. Sinner should have should win if he plays well. That's what we're saying. That's why I keep like everyone who's saying like, well, oh, Sinner's gonna win. But I, I know, but I'm saying if Shelton beats Sinner, that would be a shock, huge shock. I'm not saying that Shelton's gonna beat Sinner. I'm not telling. I'm, I'm just saying, if it happened, it would be insane. Why isn't Berrettini playing ATP? Because he's playing challenges to get ready back to form. What does Sh Shelton have to beat Sinner? He's got a big serve, and he's also got the crowd, which I don't think is going to affect Sinner that much. But he's just got this in-your-face energy that might just might just annoy Sinner a little bit. You know, maybe just gets a little annoying. But we'll see what happens. The serve will be huge for for Shelton, obviously tomorrow. Medi Sinner final. Medi wants revenge. The way Medi is playing right now. He'd be lucky to win this match. I've never seen Nole losing so many long rallies since 2011. Okay. Missed the match. Did Nole play bad or not? Nardi played amazing. Nole definitely did not play well. But Nardi played well. I wouldn't say amazing. I mean, he played fearless. Djokovic did not play well, though. There's, no, there's I mean, you can't... If you want to say excuses, then you didn't look at you go look at the stats. You go oh, look at the stats, and you come back here and say Djokovic played well. Pfft. You go back and say that. You come back here and say that with a straight face. The Djokovic played well, and now I'm making an excuse. He didn't play well. Runa usually beats Sinner, right? Runa Sinner would be a crazy final. Oh, I'd love that final. I would love that final. Oh my god, what what is going on, chat? Medvedev quarter. I think it's been six breaks in th six games. <laughs> this is the worst tennis ever. <laughs> Medi's not going to win playing like this. Horrible tennis. Dimitrov would actually trash Medi if they play. Yeah, the winner of this match, by the way, does play Dimitrov. And the winner of this match is going to lose to Dimitrov. Dimitrov's going to kick their ass. Like, this is sh terrible. This is a horrible chat. It's ugly, ugly, ugly. Shocker in the desert. Yep. Is Shelton going to hang up the phone after he wins every, every win? I don't think he's done that for a long time. I don't think... Has Shelton done the phone? I don't think he has. I think he retired that last year. I don't think Shelton's doing the phone thing anymore. All right. Um... Yeah. Is 2024 the retirement year for the two... No, what, Novak and Nadal? No, Novak's not going to retire. I wonder what Tommy Paul thinks. Tommy Paul's got a great opportunity to do well at a Masters 1000. Another one, a big one. In, home, in his hometown and home country too. Shelton's calmed down a lot. Yeah, I feel like he didn't. He stopped doing the phone thing because it was just like, well, he did that. And he says he's not going to just keep doing it. Medi is always, almost always a lock for at least the semis of a big hardcore tournament. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I picked him. Uh, I don't think I picked him. Did I not? Did I pick him? No. Porter just celebrated holding serve. That's in Oh, man. Dude, dude. dude that's look, good for quarter. Like, great, you know, whoopee, whoop but that's just, that is bad. That match sucks. Oh, man. It might actually go to, like, to a tie break in the third, which will be awesome, but it's also, like, trash tennis. But it still might go down to the wire, which is still, would be awesome to see, but it's also, like, horrible quality. <laughs> So the US Open final 22. Uh, 2020, sorry. 2020 US Open final. It's okay, Novak, whatever happened. Okay. All right, Joe, we'll see you later. Let's say about the young new player after Federer. I was depressed. But now Sinner, Carlos, life ahead after all. Yeah, there's so many good young players coming through. I love it. So cool.
Um, maybe they were playing great defense. Nope. They're just making a lot of errors. It's not good. I can't... I can't pretend like it's they're playing good. <laughs> Svetlin's gonna get gonna lose. She is getting overpowered. Yeah, she's already down two love. Against uh against Navarro. Don't remind us of that. US Open broke team's confidence and killed his career. He won the US Open, so I don't think he cares too much. He's uh, like he's still a Grand Slam champion, so you know, I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll retire with with that, you know. I'm out. Thanks for the stream. No worries, Rodrigo. We'll see you later. Nova, uh, Monfils plays this year really great. Actually better than Norway. Maybe. Djokovic won the most points, but still lost. Really? That's weird. What a weird stat. Italian Mafias are winning against Norway. Yeah. They sure are. Navarro is a good player. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, people don't talk about it much. Yeah, because there's so many Americans, aren't there? So many good Americans. How, what do you think about Djokovic losing? Do you have anything to say? What about Djokovic losing? Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything you need to say? Oh, you got the hiccups. Oh, you got the hiccups to you. Oh, are you okay? You okay? You got the hiccups to you. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, she's speechless. She's shocked. She's sho in shock. Um, Medvedev only wins a tournament once and he's never going to win Indian Wells. It's, well, he's never won Indian Wells. It's time. Okay. Good point. <laughs> Good point. You might be onto something. All right, chat. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get ready for tomorrow. But, um, I will send you over to, um, BA Tennis. I think BA Tennis are live. They were live. They are live. But um, thanks for joining us tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. Huge day from go to woe. We've got uh, Sinner and, and Shelton at night. Shviontek at night. So if you're a fan of those players, this time tomorrow we're going to watch them. Uh, during the day, you've got Sidzi Pass. You've got El Karaz. You've got Zverev, Demonor. Uh, on the women's side, you've got Wozniacki. You've got Kerber, Paulini playing tomorrow as well. So big day tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. But uh, man, upset of the year. Possibly biggest upset since Alcaraz lost to marriage. And I mean, Djokovic, is, Djokovic and Alcaraz are not the same. Djokovic is much bigger. And this is much crazier. Marishan was a quali. Lucky loser is crazier than a quali. So this could be one of the biggest upsets in the last five years. If you want to put it to that. Uh, Nadi wins. 6-4, 3-6-6-3. Beats Djokovic. Will Djokovic play Miami? That is the next question because we don't know if he's going to keep playing on hard courts when the clay court season is just around the corner. We'll find out in the next couple of days, I'm sure. But Djokovic, he's out. Nardi, the lucky loser, is through. <laughs>